Thursday again, I think. Welcome back to this three star channel where the content is exactly what you expect it to be. Three stars. Three stars, because that's all I rolled. <laughs> I rolled two. This week's two point nine stars. <laughs> this week's episode was brought to you by cashews. They come in a fruit. I rolled a one hundred on the D one hundred. They don't come in the fruit. They're on the butt of the fruit. I rolled a one hundred on the D one hundred. We got Woo! Hundred percent chance. Hundred percent chance of success. For us, not the DM. Yep. Right? Yep. Cool. Okay. That's how that works. That is being special. Yes, he so, is. I mean, he is my son. No, <laughs> like, look at him. Don't look at him. I'm going. Don't look at him. You will get distracted. We need to keep going. She's already distracted. It's she, she's doing it. I didn't mean to, and then he chased it, and I felt bad if I took it away immediately. You should take it away immediately, not feel bad. <laughs> All right! Anyway. Okay. So last time, we talked about what we're going to do, and more or less didn't really come to a concise decision, but we're just figuring out, we're going to figure it out in the morning. The We've, party is learning It's more how to party. We fucked around, but we just haven't found out yet. <clears throat> that is a infinitely more accurate way. And now we're going to contact allies. <laughs> are we? Where are we? <clears throat> Where are we, we starting? We just woke up. That's where we'll start, apparently. That's a good guess. Yeah. yeah. So, everyone just give me like a little I'm on a boat. rundown I'm not of on a boat. where the fizz fuck you are on this plane because it's been a minute and I'm I don't on a actually boat. remember. Mm, we're where all near the mirror wishes. And I'm not on a boat. I'm on a boat. And wherever Scara is at. I'm on a boat. Where'd you guys in my. Probably. It's not on the mission. boat. Where'd you yeah. Get? Yeah, you were in my little mansion dimension. Oh, yeah, we were in the mansion. Meadow. Yeah, yeah. Meadow. and it's right out, like literally you go down this, the gangplank and there it is. <laughs> you can keep the body of the Now we should just now. put the thing on the side of the boat. The I don't like the, the way you describe that. It, well, <laughs> you it just has to be on whenever the surface, right? boat moves, it doesn't move with the boat. It oh, stays in that one space. It doesn't stay <laughs> on the whatever you should eat these boats. I don't believe so, no. I That's DM like discretion. That. A DM discovery for what now? So, his, the spell, your, like, your... If we make the spell, spell of the... You have to put it on the wall, right? If we put it on the boat and the boat moves, does it move with the boat or does it stay in that one section of space? It's put on yeah. the boat. I wall. mean, the doorway to it stays on the boat because it has to be on a wall. On a wall, so we okay, could Okay, just... so I could fly the boat around. <laughs> and it's on there because it's on the side of the boat. Slap it on the side of the boat. We okay, don't get but you boat. still have the issue of whenever we are in combat... If we end up being in combat on this war boat, then that Chuckle Nuts isn't going to be able to be involved at all. Yeah, I mean, but that's he could walk out and okay. fly. Do you know why that he's not involved? Because you... because it keeps anything fey or undead off the boat. So no, you're going to have to do you're a really pussy who won't recast a spell. It takes no, hours. it takes a long time to cast said spell, which is fine. I think we're forgetting. Honestly, you don't want Scara on the boat. He fucks up our <laughs> boat. So we no. have him on the boat without putting him in the bag. I think he prefers the man. Why does he fuck the up the boat? I don't know why. He's really bad at boats. He's got banned from the Navy. He can't be that bad. He threw up when he was on our boat. Yeah, but that happens. It's called motion sickness. <laughs> it's called it's annoying because it's frequent. It actually is that bad by the by. Oh. It is that bad. There's a you, you. Ha it isn't just a hey. I threw up on the boat. You're banned from the navy for life. Yeah. I'm sorry, but there's a little bit more that usually goes into that decision. Scara <laughs> broke a boat. <laughs> How do you break a boat? Anyway, skill. <laughs> I think or lack thereof. <laughs> All right. Phone call. I got people to contact. Rejected. You don't actually have. I'm a bitch fight in every one of his calls. <laughs> That's how this works now, guys. Yeah, just Don't worry. Just call While Aria. I am having to go through conversations with Lit Chucklefuck, if you three in particular are near each other and desire to do whatever the fuck, <clears throat> shit, shower, shave, breakfast, I don't know, sex, whatever the fuck, yeah, get that just like plan for descriptions. We have you want well, a first whole foremost, ass you look fucking down description? Oh, what? Woo! We do all of those things, and we can just leave it at that. <laughs> Yula comes to talk to people before she does this. Meta and Aramis have sex. No, they don't. <laughs> Wait a second. I was gonna what? say. What? No. <laughs> we had stated everything that comes out of the mouth is canon. 
It is canon now. <laughs> no. Yes, it is. We made that statement to I you, Bradley. Trying, I, I was trying. That's a little bit no. Yeah, it happened in <laughs> a was, dream. I was trying. Oh, not like that. That is one that follows that rule. I was trying to make a joke of, and then this big thing happened, and make it be like one line of dialogue, and then move on. But no. <laughs> you can't just throw up that. That was, the, that was the whole point of it. talked about intercourse with the person. You drop something really big and have it be attributed to one line of dialogue at a hundred. And then you, you, know, you, you drop five. one thing really big. <laughs> All right, now Hal Aramis is a better really Anyway, moving on. Yeah, it's been a while since I've seen one of those, Delphine. so I just gave myself a drink. <laughs> that's, that's what the joke was. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, right. so moving on from that conversation. No. Yes. yes. Yeah. Because so, we move problematic on. Problematic child who wishes to do a million and one things. So. In exactly 30 seconds. Well, first and foremost, I'm with the rest of the group. I walk to them. Oh, wow. Wait, how do you walk to us if you said you were moving the ship? I'm not moving the ship. I'm <laughs> on the ship. We were asking if we move the ship. If we move the ship. Does it come with us? <laughs> um, but no. Um. I go into the manor. Oh, shit. Not the manor. So. The manor or the mansion? Mansion. I was about to say I was drinking we're coffee the and I remember Garrett is not drinking coffee. That's the other Garrett I play. Never no. mind. Moving on. Why doesn't he drink coffee? So. Because he drinks bourbon every morning. Where? Yeah, I drink <laughs> bourbon every morning. So. I'm about to make contact with a few of our allies. Is there anything in particular we need to talk to them about? Specifically, it is going to be Arya, Dahl, and Clary. Um, More or less to update them on the scenario that we're facing and if they can have any insights on finding our prey. Yeah, that seems pretty much it. We need the second one, especially on how to find our... (laughs) So are I don't know why me or you did not think about Doll this entire time. Okay, so... I have... I have... I I usually didn't deal with information with her. I, as as we've already established, am a moron. Uh, Clary and uh, Arya check out, but why Doll? You don't know Doll. You've never met Doll. The only people who have met Doll is Eula. We have met Doll. Have y'all met Doll? He we met all Dahl met Doll once. One. Yeah. Okay. I thought it was just me. And it was the only time I was just you guys Kai. all went to the palace. Okay. No, we okay. all met Doll. I know, but this time I can play it. I know, but the Aram is because Doll came to the manor. Aram Yeah, but like he didn't meet like. He, he just met Doll. He didn't meet Doll in the like area Manor. where she As is. to what Doll does in other than that one thing. Yes. Yeah, like so, so, you can really meet a person. I have you know, never like, met her in her line of work. I can yeah. play my line of dialogue exactly as how Aramis would believe it because I don't remember. Uh, didn't she run like a shop or something? That's good. Is there anything we need to talk to him about besides that? She can get anything. Um, what specifically are you talking to them about? Updating them on the situation okay. of, <clears throat> hey, they, we are now, the war is actually not a war anymore. They're allianced and they're using this to try to draw out Kieran. Well, and it's a two, war sideways. And two, um, do you, we need help sideways. locating the phylacteries of Kieran, the lich. Oh, damn it, that means I have to or, if we can't do that, <clears throat> arcading him really hard until one of us finds the rest of them. Like, spawn camp in the other front. Like, as soon as he shows up, it's just, bam, metal chair. Yeah, but that's... I'm saying, do we need to ask them for any more help with anything besides that? Yeah, I mean, I'm not specific right. not anything else. Arya could like probably it. get information and scouts to help mm-hmm. figure out where they're at, and Dol might potentially be able to have magical items that could help. And I know that Clary's messed around with the weave here, so maybe she might be able to mess around with something. I can see that. those lines. Because she... We know. She touched people's souls. And so, yeah. tore off pieces of them. Okay. Glances over. <laughs> but you don't know exactly how Lichdom works, but I feel like that's somewhere in the, in the same area. I did some light reading. So I was up for four hours last night reading. So, so a little bit more involved in that, but it also is that's kind of on brand. I don't know how it works. It's like saying riding a horse is just like sitting on top of a horse. That's technically true, but it does not convey the whole thing. 
All right. Well, anything else that we need to add to that list, or is that it? Seems pretty good for me. Summon the elect accounts. Summon the allies or something. I have to say, I don't know what an elect account is, darling. <laughs> it's a material point thing. I'm from the... Ma- All right! <laughs> Are you doing this the hard way with sending? Yes. We don't have another way to contact them. That's At least the I don't. Five words? Yep. Do you want to text that or do you want to see it? Because I know some people like the te- like the texting because it makes them... It's easier to count the words for me. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. You usually use your fingers, but... Yeah, I usually use fingers. I gotta, I gotta see the fingers, man. I'm good with my fingers. Anyway. <clears throat> Just count the different things. Hopefully Fair will know that soon. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on! <laughs> and as long as we spread the sport, I'm sure she'll figure it out. Mm-hmm. I'm having fun. Alright, first things first. Aria. That's... Tell my mom I said hi. If I have the time. If I have the minutes. If you have the word. <laughs> I have three words left. Kai says hi. You have a whole lot of sittings there. No, you don't. No, that's, the other, ga- that's the other one. That's Look, the I really gotta get these campaigns. <laughs> you gotta get these campaigns figured out. I also could cast sending, but I'm not gonna. Wow. Just the telephone bitch. <laughs> yes, yeah, so yeah. the other telephone bitch. I get to keep up with the data for our actual fucking phones. <laughs> Which we have six. She could have made herself one of those. And that would have made it so much easier to contact her. You guys have a lot of things easy, is it? Mm. Alright. So, first one. Aria. We also could just get on the ship and just go there. But you could. Yeah, do we have enough time for that? Why is Colorado texting me? I don't know. Um, do we have enough time for that? I don't think we have enough time for that. This is can't your ship punch it? At yeah, I was like, we can get there in like less than a minute, can't we? I don't know. That's DM's discretion. Your chair. I know, do. but we like... We already determined we could get there quickly. We do have time. We don't know what time we do not do or do not have. We don't you know, know what I agree. Happening. I'm not wasting spell slots on this. Let's go talk to people. <laughs> Everybody, hold on. I'm going places. Well, are we good to say that the mansion was on the boat? That's what you said it was. It was okay. on the side of the boat. On the side of the boat. Okay, cool. Right. We were good that it was moving. So I'm just so walking out. You can be in I'm the getting mansion. in the chair. Mm-hmm. And I'm punching it. <laughs> I'm still in the to the capital. Here. I'm still in the mansion. Are you just parking your goddamn ship on top of the trees? Yeah. Right above Arya's tavern. Absolutely. We'll just lower, like, she'll fly down and I'll lower her up down. The ship is invisible. Probably somewhere in the realm of, like, half a mile off the floor. It's fine. Ship's invisible. <laughs> I sequester that it. thing It turns it invisible oh, So now home. You're about half a mile off the ground Give or take So I'm going to fly real. off the Fun. side And into the door Because technically we can't. It's like, So I wouldn't walk out the door Unless you can fly But who wants to go down with me Walk down the door <laughs> I specifically designed my form to not have wings This may have been a design oversight I guess he's I have not a wonderful carry. bag I'll carry you. You said you walked out the door. I know. I walk out the door. And then I wait there. Wait a minute. I can reach my head back in the door. I'm like, come on. Wait a minute. No feather fall. What am I doing? Okay. I guess this man carries me. I've just... What was... He's feather falling. <laughs> That's his little magic. He's literally... Eula just back falls out of the door. <laughs> you just, I don't Aramis, know. Scara, looking in. Come on. Aramis. What? Oh, wait. I can feather fall. Eula. Sure, I won't carry you, but, like, just fall out the door. Yeah, Rock sees in Tia's feather fall. Can't you cast that on multiple people? Oh, yeah. Did you? Or did, are you just I'm casting flying. on your feet? Do you guys want to be feather fall? I think I'm me. fine, darling. I, I need, carry I need, him to, enough, so. need to stretch the wings out in the morning. All right. No, according to Clary, you need to condition them. Mm-hmm. Erebus does a front flip. I've been doing boat. that now. I have the book. Mm. Amos does a front flip off the boat. Okay. It's not even off the boat, it's out the side of the boat. Are you going to keep doing this the entire way down? See how many yes. flips you get in? Sure, why not? It's I'm going to need to roll a d4. Sure. 
Sure. Yeah. Constitution saving throw to see if you throw up. <laughs> sure. And then I need you to roll an acrobatics check because I want to know if you actually land on your feet or your head. No, that's what the D4 is. I just want to make it completely like sure. random, uh-huh. random. We're playing D&D I have a number in my right. head. If you uh, hit it, you land it. That's cool. You do not land it. Okay. Uh, I will let you decide how you fuck up later <clears> your spins. Do you land on your back or do you just eat the fucking ground? <laughs> Eat the ground. <laughs> He's like, it's so limb. You could have decided you got close and you just landed on your butt gently. Like you, and it wasn't like horrible. It could have just been like a feet, 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 feet. No, nope, no, nope, ground too, too fast, too fast, too fast. Nope. He said face first. Yeah. No, you said. Just... He says. What they said happens. I would happens, love so. the idea of just he's doing flips. He clips a branch and starts flipping even faster. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he just go. We're just watching him go. We and we're like branch, branch. He just hits the branch, branch. and instead of going, we, he starts going. <laughs> not, even, I'm not even going fast. It's just we're like, not walking here anymore, right? No, no we're fine. Don't. Okay, at least. Don't. It's like watching a. We're mostly fine. It's it's like, there's still it's, time that needs to be. It's like Processed. watching a beach ball bounce down the trees. <laughs> like I said, you were flipping and we were like, branch, branch, branch. He's not dodging. He's not dodging. Branch, 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 Why branch. Are you guys knocking? That's average. I knock right? and then I open the door. I'm being nice. <laughs> wow, she didn't just bust through the door? I wonder if I Meadow tastes like that. I totally want it here now. Keep it to yourself. What the fuck, dude? Is there, is there a bunch of people in here? Keep it to yourself. Fuck you. Awesome. Go up to the counter. Not terribly many. It's a lot more dead than it, you guys have ever really seen it. Me and my pass of 25. What the fuck, my bro? <clears throat> we'll talk about that later. Mm-hmm. You was ignoring it too. <laughs> you also I'll think on Okay, cool. The right, master did not hear us. You I'll don't need to. <laughs> okay. Do you have anywhere private to enjoy a drink? You know, I feel like at this point I should in- be incredibly insulted by that comment. I'm trying to make it casual. Hello, man. I can drink now. I also have a face. Okay. At this point, I feel like when you, you see just... us walk towards I you, get a migraine. you should just free mirror. Oh. You love me. You could also from a safe distance. Free mirror realm. You still love me. Without you love. Not right now, but like in the future. You can just see us walking. Just pre-game, a mirror around. Just get yourself prepared. And she drinks like four shots and she's like, nope, another three. Now I'm good. Now I can talk to you. Just. I know. I know as soon as I see you guys, my day is going to get a lot harder. Should well, I like, technically it's getting a lot easier and then harder. Should I have like eased into it? Like, I know it's big news. I do you ease into you having a... I don't know Honestly, I feel like that's the, the easiest road. part to digest of this scenario. It is. Like, I mean, there's not I much... kind of expected you to, like, do it a little sooner, I guess. Really. It was kind of a, it was kind of a whole thing. It was like an arc. An arc? I don't see how that can... He developed his personality over a hump. I don't know. Sure. Like a bridge arc? Yeah. Yes. Like, he needed to work through some things. <laughs> okay. Now I have scales that are made of steel. We changed the right. sides of the war. Oh, so, yeah. uh, we're no longer at war, but we're still at war. We're war We've but got not some pretty big fireballs to drop. You may want to. You may want to. One moment. Up this. She just leaves it <laughs> for a moment. <laughs> like, she's drawn the little symbol and mm-hmm. she just keeps going. <clears throat> okay, now that you could have eased into. And then she comes back. Alright. Do we have enough to drink? That is none of your concern. No. <laughs> I would like to insight check. The way How she, much she just drank. Yeah, as I was say, the way the way she's looking at you, I think you need to worry about whether she has anything to drink. I think my mom would be more excited to see me. <laughs> she's a twenty four to see you. Twenty four. You just Yula brought- just exists. You just, you just, just brought Yula. You just what? <laughs> I can't there help it. I have her favorite. <laughs> See, one and a half problem. Scara is no one's problem. Yeah, He's just problem. always there. No, yeah, no, problem. you're the one that you're the one that's dating the child, so you're always a problem just from existing. I'm the don't hurt him, and I'm like, oh. 
You ever thought about having a five yeah, that copper was a shot threat. night? So 24. <laughs> you ever thought about having a five copper shot night? A shot for five copper. I would genuinely like to see you consume any amount of liquor because I genuinely think you would get absolutely smashed. I have a However, wonderful bottle you can I try. I don't want you to do that in my tavern. You can go to like one of my competitors. Oh, okay. I will vomit magical juice all over the place. Will it be magical juice anymore? I'm fairly certain it would just be normal vomit. I can make it magical juice. Please stop. Let's not. Anyway, okay. back to the matter's hand. So, 24, how many <clears throat> shots did she take? Do I get to know anything from that insight? It wasn't shots. Nice uh-huh. question. Nice. So, we do have some pretty big. Unless anybody else wants to jump <laughs> in at any point. Your mom just. Uh, <laughs> I don't think I'm drugs. I just also didn't specify. It's drugs. bottles. Just letting you it's know. It's bottles. There are some really she big fire. There are some really big fireballs we're about to be dropping. Titania and Aya have. One one. Dang it! Shut up and let's just tell her what's happening. And she well, comes back with a piece of paper. Clearly she needs to be prepared. Titania and Aya have formed a truce and are no longer going to war. They are teaming up to fight Kieran. Put her back. Put oh, her dead. back. Don't break my legs. They've broken like twice. I wasn't breaking your legs. Like, so bad. Who's looking at the paint? We've already discussed this. He's you also shared... I think the second time I met... Um, just to cover all bases, um, we still don't know where all of this phylacteries are. Alright, still feeling on that moment. But there is going to be a war today. It's going to be a fake war. We were able to clear out all spies that we were aware of in AS court. I got smacked. Why did I get smacked? It's it's cathartic. (laughs) (laughs) I didn't even... Do all of this! You know, I was the one who dumped them all in the Lake of Wayward Souls. I'm the messenger! Yeah, you opened it and then uh, we tagged, uh, yeah, it was, it was us, not technically you. Technically, uh, you weren't the one. I mean, technically, I he, did, he opened the portal. The ones that escaped, we got because they could fly. Yeah. But <sighs> Aramis dunked the rest of them. They were like fucking drowning in soul water juice. <sighs> My idea. They'll be fine. So, will they? It is a. Fake war that we have been dis- having everyone believe is going to be real because it's just a whole bunch of Warforge Wait, fighting each other. Thundering Plains, yeah? Is, is that, that where I'm at? Between Mirror Wishes and Thundering Plains, down there. Yeah. Ah, uh, that explains why I saw and received some messages about you being there. So. Makes sense, makes sense. It's going to be oh, about God. 500 Warforged, 250 on either side, running at each other at full force and faking the fight to see if we can draw out Jerome or Oberon or anybody else With and take them out. With captains from both sides leading the charge. So some people will run the risk of getting injured? Not really, unless the captains hurt the captains. It's all an elaborate play dance with the Warforged. They're never actually going to fully injure each other. They're just going to play dead. That's going to be the coolest fight. It's, a, it's a play! Like a play. Like a war game or a training exercise. The captains who are there... more like a play. It's honestly like a play. play. It's a play. That's what we discussed. The captains who are there are... <laughs> under... standing that they have to... injure... Each other? Make it believable? Yes. Don't kill each other. But it's not going to be with some like... So then hmm. what's your game plan if it goes south? Like what if he does draw out someone? If he draws out someone, we are all... We have plans to capture the one we want. It's going we don't to be factory, close. Yeah. We drop in and then 500 Warforged stop fighting each other and all turn their heads towards that. Yeah, the whole point... Titania's armies and Aya's armies are not too far away from where the fake war And is. where are those two? On opposite sides of the Mirror Wishes. From each other. It's like one, Mirror Wishes, then. Yeah. Do you think that's smart? Well, they're not exactly as close as what you I like mean... Sound like yes, not that close. I think that it's okay for now, seeing how, if they wanted to, they could have got a lot worse a few days ago when they were both in the capital and then punching each other in the maze. I mostly was meaning to have them on silver platters. 
Oh. Oh, I have no idea of that. I think it'll be fine. We'll figure it out. That was the point. They're kind of. It, it's. Find it suspicious. It's extremely suspicious, but I really don't know what to do at this point. You <laughs> happen to put in personal effort into making sure he had close connections with both of them. Nobody consider that suspicious. Oh, very suspicious. That's two deities that could be at risk. Yes. Very high possibility. <clears throat> who, who, who was it that you got pulled to protect? You know I don't know gods. Protecting. Yeah, that one. They were attacking her shrine. <clears throat> and you guys left them there. No easy. We're on our way back. It's just we're dropping it off. Did they wanted to leave it's it it's a the lot. material plane. No, we yes, didn't. Yes, you did. I said that there is a chance to go to the material plane to find more information. Yes. I never said we're fucking going. I'll take the bullet and say I was the one who wanted to go there. Oh my god, Anyways. don't you guys still blame each other? There's... I'm adamantly not blaming each other. I'm blaming okay. myself. What we were saying is that there is oh. information to be found in the material plane. There is information to be found in the material plane. About, I don't even fucking remember the city anymore. At this point, what's the city's name? And this may have something to do with Netherrill and possibly Karsis. Yeah, we think Kieran's from there. You remember what, you know what Netherrill is, right? They think, they they think, think Kieran, Kieran was the king the, of Netherrill. They think Kieran was the original king who destroyed the magic weave. Potentially. And then he's trying to do it again. This time he has experience, though, so he might pull it off. You know, wizards don't really take no for an answer the first time around. They're kind of... Based okay. solely off of a... Wonderful. Scrying? Not necessarily. Legend you know, lore. You know, I think... And a couple of drinks. I have a sister who is a little bit more close with material plane. I uh-huh. love Twilly. You have a sister who's in the material plane? I, I can smack guessed. him so hard. <laughs> yeah, it's... Mm-hmm. it's Are you really? supposed to be figuring out how to work it out? It's, that's what we're doing. Just our sometimes, own brand of fuck shit. You know, sometimes I really just envision that you two should be, like, handcuffed together. And then you have to, like, fight together and, like, not kill each we other. We can both fly now. I can I do it indefinitely. I mean, if you give me about an hour, I can make myself fly. Forever. It's fine. <clears throat> You're using that You know, ton- sometimes I think it would be an incredibly interesting challenge just to handcuff you and you and you and you. I feel like we should try it at some point. Maybe not right now, though. Wait a minute, are we in the line? Or are you making us a square? No, no. us and then them. I don't and know. we're I not connected we, to them. I think we'd get along pretty well if we were handcuffed together. Yeah, as long as it's my right hand and not my left. If we get handcuffed together, then a lot of bad things are going to happen. And if we get handcuffed together, then something's going to die. If my right hand handcuffed you, I can still use my left hand. Oh, you're left handed? (laughs) Uh, uh, Listen, I couldn't hear you because of this one's rambling. Yes. I'm left handed. I didn't know why he wanted his left hand out either. I know he's left handed, but I was confused. Oh, bitch it. I'm left handed. No shit! You, we've both seen you uh, writing and you're left-handed? God. Holy <laughs> shit. That actually be really bad for the handcuff scenario, because at least one of them's going to have to have the left-hand handcuff, unless they're just back-to-back. <laughs> Dude, I'm a wizard. I'm ambidextrous. <laughs> there we go. But you're left-hand. Right. Hand- Never mind. Okay. Okay. I'm left-hand right. dominant, but I can still do stuff with my right hand. We came here to deliver the information, because we can get more to you through talking than a uh, sending spell, which is originally and what was going to happen. you currently can't find the phylacteries. Is that the main thing that I wanted me to bring up? Yes. yes. Okay. And they're most likely <laughs> on... Well, we have It is confirmed they are on multiple different planes. We're not and sure on how you many. I currently want some mockingbirds. I need to get information out, and I need to do it literally ten minutes ago, knowing this much information. We have I some suspicions for the ones in the Feywild, in the Merc Control, the Howling Forest, and the Vale of Long Night. All right. Yeah, someone didn't give ones. me back my list. I don't have your list. They don't need it's it. a picture on your phone. It is a picture. You never on had the paper. <laughs> <laughs> it's because you've okay. given me everything else and I an actual paper. I wanted the paper to look 
better and different. She had never actually finished that paper. No, it's actually because I wanted there to be ink drops on it, and I didn't really have a way to do it on actual paper. Do you well, do? you have ink. We have now. ink. So now, so this was six months ago. It was, so <laughs> call, call, call. Scarab pulls out a sheet of paper and goes specifically looking around those areas. I told you three of them. I don't know where the ones in the other like the material thing were. Control. Oh, hags. Sorry. This is what we need to do. Like, yes, the Oh, hello, Bradley. <laughs> That's the best Bradley. damn Bradley I've ever seen. Uh, <laughs> I thought I was the best you ever seen. You are the best Bradley that I have ever seen. To assist with the veil. You're the only Bradley I've ever seen. I didn't want to do name Bradley when I was in high school. He was kind of an asshole. What, what did she say? Bradley? I've known a few people named Megan. What did she All right, moving on. What did she uh, say about the veil? I was trying to hear it. It won't be possible to search the veil at the moment. It's currently too cold. Too cold and stormy. I guess we could deal with that one later. But I feel like, and honestly, with the veil, if we're wanting to explore that, some of the best people to send to explore that is us three. I'm not saying right now. I'm saying just in the future, whenever there's downtime. We're about to be in a war. Downtime is about to be no time. Wars are not fought every single day. That's. Good. It's like 80% of the days, 90%. Unless it's a really fucking bad war. Then I it's like 95. I also have these beautiful things called... I could send a message to the lycanthropes and go, Hey, since I'm sending y'all... Materials. Could Do you have possibly? any allies that are like ice fake? We have an ice giant. We have an ice giant. <laughs> He's not very quiet. <laughs> he <laughs> likes to piss on things. So, rear warning. <laughs> He no, is currently here. That would be a very stupid thing to just He's send him to the and go, Go find Maui! Actually, he would probably find it. He's go find Shiny! <laughs> and then he would piss on it or eat it. <laughs> That's fine. If he ate it, it would still be gone. I don't know. I wonder... Okay, the small part of me Could wonders what would happen if you ate the Could we get rid of Kieran if he eats the flactory and then he just... Like, Kieran dies and ends up going into that phylactery, into that would, the ice giant. I feel like he would just have, burst out the ice giant's stomach and it would be only, very gruesome for all. This is only a theory, but I believe that would only happen if he swallowed the phylactery whole. It's fine. It's fine. Moving on. Moving on. Um, we have an ice giant. <laughs> the veil has not really been something that Summer Fey are free to enter easily. Not We're going to have to find people to explore there. And or explore there ourselves at some point in the future. Even myself Got can't it. handle those winds. It's still completely... Not even mm. whatever you're... Sad? <laughs> Would you like to find out? She still I think I've changed what your they... seasons enough for a lifetime, darling. She's still a summer fae, whether she is in winter or ladger form or not. I don't know how ladrons work. I just know that you piss them off enough and they get mad and fiery red. Yeah, if only we had no la- That's about all I got! Alright. I'm done with her talking for a moment. <laughs> She's got you look just got kicked out the mirror realm. <laughs> Your connection dropped. You're like, what the fuck? I turn around and I start heading towards dolls. <laughs> like, fuck it, I'm done here anyway. I got my message delivered. <laughs> Moving on! I am paying after everything today. Particularly. She is. Anyways, at the present moment, Winterfey don't necessarily cross the border to Terra very much because there are still some bitter tensions, we'll say. The loss of their proclaimed king a few hundred years ago definitely doesn't make them the most excited to work with us. I feel like and could... since he died, the Vale's not the most explored region. So if I could tell them that I may or may not have a little tiny piece of him in their future, um... I don't necessarily know if they'll be the most cooperative. We'll Why, do you have a part of their god inside Their of you? last... In you! In and you. in this one! You're the, not there! The spark, honey. I'm not there, but the their spark. Future, their, their, their beloved god no, I would, was I, my brother. I know, I was attempting to make a joke about something being inside of you. 
It's not me. What is the case <laughs> <laughs> No, That's it. You was doing a villain art. <laughs> See you got here. <laughs> the execution, the delivery. <laughs> you got her though. <laughs> Scare us done. The arms are turning red. Please. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you <laughs> killed her. She's dead. <laughs> Tactical strike. <laughs> moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> She'll be fine. Give her a minute. <laughs> what? It's getting redder and redder. Her arms are getting redder and redder. And her face is scary. <laughs> Contagious. Bradley's <laughs> turning red now. That's what happens when I laugh. My little hee hee sounds are, are not my normal laughing sound, but they're still genuine. It's, it's because it wasn't at the time I expected it. I expected it. It's never is. <laughs> right as he said, What is it inside of you? I expected him to say it then. He waited and waited and waited and waited. <laughs> then he said, Yeah, wait until you said, It's not inside me. Because that was the perfect time to be like, actually. Well, you're welcome for the setup. Yeah. Sorry, kick, kick that one out. I looked at it already. Like, kick him out. He deserves to get kicked out for this, baby. Absolutely not. Kick him out. Haha. <laughs> They're still on the outside. Are we all good? Does everyone get kicked no, out or is it just me? No, it's just you. It's me and you now. We're out here. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. <laughs> and it, you, honestly, they're seeing us do this. <laughs> because it's moving, like, it's still moving time outside, but it's a lot oh. slower, so we're just like... <clears throat> Cover your ears like this. And kind of make humming noises so you can't hear very well. Humming, humming noises. <laughs> Bradley? Go. Oh, sorry. <laughs> There are at least this many full bottles just empty in front of them. Damn. Alright. I think that is successful. <laughs> That's successful. <laughs> That's two more than the last time I talked to my mom. <laughs> Anyways. Upgrades, so. people. Upgrades. We're getting better at this. I could find ways no, to get into the best. veil. Mm. That one. Nobody's found ways to get into the veil. Yeah, no one's found ways to get his leg and throat to work with them either, and I did that one too. So. Never say no. I'm the veils. Bitter. I'm fueled by the hatred of the long leader. And those Fey haven't been under any rule since this. So, whatever state they are in. Hmm. Might not be the most <clears throat> civilized. <clears throat> I dealt with Puck. So Dude. I've had a little bit of practice, but I don't try. What in the so fucking just... my precious was that? <laughs> you could have so much. It, it, it fell. <laughs> Puck. You... Why did you charge your sheets? Deal with the veil. I guess you could say I'm trapped. You can help out with other places. You just help us find. Forgive my ignorance, I... but do you have to be like, have do you have to like have hatred in your heart or some dark side of the force stuff like that in order to go in there? No, it's just really fucking cold. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Do you want more than to freeze out? I mean, I can go back to being a suit of metal. I'd be kind of a your new limbs, even though your scales are made of steel, will literally freeze off. I mean, I can go back to being a suit of steel. That's it's like so changing wait, you clothes can now. Crack. Yeah, your steel will just crack, which means your soul boundness will be cracked, and then none of us could get to you because you would be a crack. No, just put an arcane furnace in the chest and just. They wouldn't work. In the kind of cold that's in the veil, you can't really survive for very long. It freezes your soul. We've 
tried multiple ways. Tweet, tweet, tweet. You can technically dip into the edges of the veil where it meets, but it's not really recommended, especially if you're with someone who flies. Well, overcoming the improbable is kind of our thing, so I'm sure we can figure it out. Oh, I don't doubt you would annoy the snow itself into melting, but... <clears throat> Never underestimate my ability to be so completely oblivious that I will find a way to annoy snow. Oh, hmm? if you have any extra supplies you could spare, and he's going to write down two locations on a piece of paper, keep these locations secret, not even letting Twilly or, any, or Ace know, anyone. Mm -hmm. Then don't show. At a minimum, I have to share with one other higher member. Well, you could... <clears throat> it's one of the ways... Twilly is at least not here. I don't want multiple, multiple, more, more, more people here knowing. You could let Twilly know. If you have supplies y'all could spare, could you get them to these locations? For possible civilian camps. I can see here. However, the supplies are kind of built with the organization in mind. I know. We have people that we watch too. Well, if it's food you're worried about, we do have an infinite supply of beef. Mm -hmm. I. Trust me, you, the less things you know about this one, the better. No, Arya knows. She has people uh, there taking care of the cattle. We've talked last time oh. about this. Uh, infinite cow. Yeah. Sometimes I just like to forget. I also don't ever want to eat those cows. They're, con they're grass-fed. They're free-range. They're non-GMO. <laughs> Perfect cow. <laughs> they're non-GMO. <laughs> They just have. They just grow instantly in well in twenty four hours. They to just have an unnatural so weapon. So at present, y'all are requesting an investigation of the Mergen Draw and Howling Forest, correct? Yes. Are you requesting? Did you give her the money for the material plan for two? Mm -hmm. Forward. <clears throat> Upon discovery, or just returning the information. Uh, you specified term term or information because we have only found one way to get rid of them, and your son has it. Big man, big man's got big hammer. Does that have anything to do with his earlier comment? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Technically, he has something big that goes in and out. Technically, he does have a big comment. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> now you're gonna get kicked out. I didn't say that. <laughs> I was thinking, it's like, technically it is a big bone that goes swinging, but he, um, he remembered it's a big his... bone of flesh, too, isn't it? Bone and flesh? He remembered yeah. his lessons. And cartilage. He remembered his lessons from Hades' camp and prayed really, really hard. And Hades gave us a pass and gave him a giant He never hammer. went to Hades' camp. He went to Apollo camp. Well, he may have prayed to Apollo, but Hades was the one that's Yeah, that's my whole story. <laughs> That I was supposed to be following Apollo. It's actually Apollo's son. Anyways, so in very little terms, we have been given a holy weapon that is designed specifically to kill phylacteries and do nothing else. We need to and find That's the only parents. way we've found actually. I'm curious to know what your actual parents are like. I'm not. Alright, returning information. And a side note is that they usually have very morally dubious security measures. Like killing your own son. Yeah, last time we had to um, kill them. And did you specify those were Oberon's previous hunting grounds? That makes them incredibly dangerous to investigate. <laughs> which means the speed with which that information would be gathered is questionable in a good day. <clears throat> I know. Especially you need considering anything. both of the ones that are capable of being investigated by the organization are in the forest, which is where he reigns supreme. 
I don't know. Nobody really said the board be over by Christmas. If you need anything from me that I could help you with, let me know. Yeah, I mean, we did discuss the veils problem. No lemon supplies that you need. That we have anything that I could get you personal things to maintain this organization. I know you do. We haven't exactly been operating with a royal stamp of approval before, so trust us. I know you do. You've been here a little bit longer than you have. Just still <laughs> offer it. <laughs> my, abs- my absolute naivete and this is, uh, still has me trusting you guys implicitly. You barely moved an inch at this point. <laughs> <laughs> but I do believe they have more places and more people they want to talk to. Potentially. And you guys should definitely consider why he wants so many deities. And maybe we consider keeping those two close to where you choose to fight until you know. <clears throat> or risk it all. Fuck it. I think it's so one of the reasons is because he wants bottom. power. More and more power, because the more power he can get, the easier it would be to destroy the weave. Well, Tooser just pulled over, and Nico just had his paw. On his stomach, just I'm not getting into your philosophical views, but it's consider this for your allies. One. What is that? Is that originally Karsis never, Karsis original goal wasn't to destroy the weave, it was to control it. His original intent was to usurp the god Mithril? Mithra. Mithra. He wanted to replace her as the god of magic. Mithril then. Yeah, what is Mith- Mithril Mithra is right now? Okay, now that's Mistra. And Mistra, yeah. Yeah. I have the names of fucking same. Because they're reincarnations of the same thing. That's so stupid. It's Pick like, name. you're still you, but you're a chick now. But, we do need to go. We have other... I have some people I can think to send who are familiar with the Merkin draw and the fucking eggs and... In the Howling Forest, we'll have to have more of a widespread, too large of an area. Be gone. I have things to do as for the usual with you guys. Can't ever just visit and give me, like, money for the tavern. Huh? <clears throat> Business. <laughs> you know, after migraine-inducing information, this doesn't really help ease my mood. It, like, feels a little light. <laughs> Well, let's go see doll. <laughs> the thing immediately gets dropped. Y'all just, y'all just see Scarab basically handing her money. And y'all just here. Let's go see doll. <laughs> I assume, given the amount of time, you guys would be at least halfway across the room of the tavern by the time they get shunted out of there. All. <laughs> yeah, halfway across the room. And then, oh, we're and then we're out the door. <laughs> and then we're out the door. Bye, all of you. Stay safe. Jesus we will do our best. Yeah, like As I follow, I'm like, Eula, you owe that woman a lot of money. She says she wishes you would show up and just bring her money for once. You owe her a lot of money and a She's buttload of liquor. She's the competition now, technically. I plan to give her some wine in the future. We that's also, not money right now, and that's also, in the future. We, in we also have an extreme. We also she have loves ex- me. <laughs> we can also make an extremely good deal on beef. She doesn't want the beef. But you can usually cook. You're really pushing that beef. If you want people to buy that beef, you gotta tell, not let them know that it comes from infinite reproducing cows. Just say, hey, we have beef if you want some it's, beef. They are free we, range we, and grass fed. Yeah, start with no that GMOs. and leave out the part where they're like... Operations before every god in existence? Yeah, leave out that part. Just, leave out the part that they were since they were only created to feed the Gagalans. Yeah. I, was, I didn't tell her that. You That's did. Cool. Yeah, that was different at that point. All right. Dolls. <laughs> All I did was say I made an infinite cow. You, how do you People get there? Tell you sell it up. Don't Them, care. I don't care how they get there. You're the one who's the problem child. Yeah. Me? How do you get in? Oh, um... How do I help you get in? One second. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, I don't even have my notebook. <laughs> it's been so long, I forgot. Rip. Go ahead, help Is cast... there a chimney here? 
Yes, there's a chimney here. Okay. We're going down the chimney. Do any of you guys know thaumaturgy? Ah, uh, yes. My apologies. Hey. I forgot. Hey. It apparently has hey. become hey. Christmas in hey. July. Yeah. Down the chimney. I'm going to be Santa Claus. I'm going to do message. <laughs> just point it towards it and just keep going. Hey. 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 Oh, it's me? No, towards the <laughs> I'm distracting. Good job. Hey. Hey. Roll the hey. stealth check. Hey. Hey, hey. Alright. <laughs> Rolls it. If I do thaumaturgy, I could just stand outside the front door. <laughs> do I give him advantage because of the constant haze? I get advantage from wearing my hood. Do I give her disadvantage because of the constant haze? No. <laughs> ah, damn it. Here's a real question because I just thought about it. Because of the scenario of Scara's life, how many people are probably looking at us funny because Scara has a dragon following him because my dragon won't leave me alone? With the pillow. <laughs> it's cute. There's and you not love very it. many people who are out and about. I know there's not. Anymore. It's good because my dragon's I, just. My notebook. Most of them tend to Don't be cheat. like huddling around the alleyways and then darting into buildings. Nice. Because yeah, they're supposed to be hiding. Oh, yeah. yeah, and we're just we're just strolling up Main Street like a big dick in a locker room. I really need to update mm-hmm. this too. <laughs> Where are our markers? Forty. Right behind you. Right about at the end of it, you just see someone like, kind of like, you're almost in, and you see someone like put out a towel in front of the chimney as you get some dust. Damn it, you almost got it. <clears throat> Shit. Your person being very loud was a little bit obvious. You could tell it to stop screaming in my ears. Hey, 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 well, that saves me next month's chimney sweep. <coughs> Bill, here. If you get a single ounce of dust on anything in the shop, you buy it. Uh, can you press the detail to shape to me? Press the detail to shape me. Yes, buddy, but only because you asked so nicely. See, everybody. Press the detail. I get a dust too, apparently. No dust. Does press the digitation only work for a small area? Don't you guys have to repeat press the digitation? Yeah, it's for each part of his clothing. Press the digitate, press the digitate, press the digitate. Thanks, Kevin. So, well... No messy. Um, so... God damn it. You got anywhere to talk for a second? Yeah, like anywhere <laughs> that's like... Anywhere that's like... You can count it as like almost a wedding. Because she almost missed you. You were like at the end of the thing when she like kind of sat with you <coughs> down to catch all the dirt. On a different note... <laughs> You hear at the door, Why the fuck is it so cold? I've never been here before. I think the last time I actually rode in here was when I visited Doll that go shopping. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. It's very outdated. I found something out. <clears throat> this is the sex shop, right? No. No. Okay. I, this, that's why is, I asked. this is the back alley deals that this Eula and Kai the, have been doing like palace. all game. <laughs> hey, it's a very. This is Doll's Palace. It has a very Ajante kind of vibe to it. Consider it like. Everything's frozen. A building made of ice. Man, if I had nipples, I could cut rocks right now. Me and Spark just look in and we're like, y'all can handle this. No. No. Oh, what's the matter? No. No? No. Do you have anything that's specifically good at finding things that are hidden away? And across multiple planes of existence. Maybe that are And consider if she looks something similar to this. Oh, I can't see her face. Yep, you cannot. She always has something to bring her eyes. Yeah. <clears throat> we owe. I like anything that like can detect a certain kind of magic from really far away, or mm. you know, show it a picture and it like seeks it out like a dog. So you're wanting something to find things through multiple dimensions? Yes. Have you heard of how secure is it to talk about things in here? I'm assuming yeah, very secure. 
is we need this shit like airtight because this is some pretty sensitive info. Are you We're okay? Silence on the snow. <laughs> We're hunting a lich. Yeah. Yes. Then we need to know where his phylacteries are. He has a lot of them. A lot. Spread Across it. multiple different planes. What's going to say that? They finish each other's sandwiches. <laughs> Continue. I'm just going to finish some, all right. <laughs> Already. <clears throat> yeah, finish catching these sandwiches. So she's just going to kind of look around, and she's going to go up the flight of stairs to the second floor and start looking at some homes that she has up there. While she's doing that, can I look around and see if there's anything interesting that catches my eye? <laughs> You're the ones who go shopping. You'll find nothing. I don't know what I'm just going to find the most like open space that's like away from everything else, like <laughs> away from all the shelves. And I'm just going to stand still because I'm still not used to having a tail. A lot of things <laughs> in the shop are like encased in a small layer of like cost, basically. It's cold in here. 24. Your breath. This is where we sold the pillars. Yep. And, um. That's where we first, you guys first met. And I, and I sold some of the dragon scale stuff. And this is where you guys have bought mm. some of mm. your equipment. I don't remember which ones. Particularly. Mainly health potions. Yeah, and I bought, uh, like some, like, dead gems and stuff mm -hmm. for spells, higher level yep. spells. This is where originally I got my bag of animal keeping. Well, it wasn't from here, but it, well, it was from here, but I didn't come here to get it. Why didn't you go in with us? It's cold as fuck. I've never been here before. I don't know how this place is useful to me. Yes, thanks. They're sour, aren't they? Not really. But they're supposed to be sour. She doesn't like sour candy. I don't really like sour candy. Oh, I but I like you. I appreciate it. Him though I licked the sour off. Yes. <laughs> Make up. <clears throat> you know, part of me knew I probably should have said something up. Because I thought you guys might end up asking for things. And here I am. Well, yeah, obviously we want things. It's okay if you say no. It just could be a thing. In all honesty, Eula does not have the money to like, purchase a lot of things. Scara always does. She'll give us a price and be like, I'll pop out and be like, so we're buying things and I need your wallet. Because <laughs> this is one shop that I can't steal from. Can you ask them, Kai, one thing they have in common? It's your wallet. <laughs> I mean, I have some money, just okay. not a lot. The only thing that would really catch your attention is a sword. Okay. Do I get to know anything about it? Other nope. than a sword? It's just a pretty sword. Is it a short sword, two handed, one handed? Yeah, currently it's a long sword. So it's versatile. Versatile. It looks interesting and it glows with fairly decent magical means, we'll say. You can definitely sense that it's a bit of a strong weapon. Hmm. And she's sitting here just like going over her tones and just looking at me the entire time while y'all are doing this. How's it been, doll? Doll, darling, what's fancy about this? It's a defender sword. Lean over to Kai. My 
Mind you, she didn't look up from her book when she <laughs> answered you. She just spoke. So she just kind of whispers, Kai, what does that do? Hey, doll, what does that do? <laughs> you guys do know I could just tell you what it does, right? If you touch it, well... Can also go out the shop what things happens. here unless you want to get such things. May I have permission to identify you? Denied. Legendary items are not available for that kind of perusal. <sighs> I can make you more prone to hitting, though, if you're decent at hitting and need a little bit more protection, you can change how good you are at hitting things and convert it into a shield of sorts. Which, for the stats in D&D, means it's a plus three bonus map, uh, to attack and damage rolls made with this weapon. The first time you attack on each of your turns, you can transfer some or all of the sword's bonus to your armor class instead of using the bonus on any attacks that turn. For example, you can reduce the bonus to your attack and damage rolls to plus one and gain plus two to your AC. <laughs> that's pretty good. Because it's not its not just a set number of uses, that's indefinitely. Yeah. Also, legendary. And you're broke. I am broke, but I have And things. you can't steal from Doll. But I have It's not things. possible. I have things. Learn that the hard way. You can't barter with her very well. I need doll to put that on my fucking sword. My thing, so I can have higher AC. But I'm not gonna change over to that, because my sword's cooler. I don't like my blood magic sword right now. Do you need a loan? Although I don't know if I have enough to cover either. So how are those tomes coming? I'm not looking. You guys are asking for things that are definitely not exactly well known. Yes. Something to do multi-dimensional search? Almost unheard of. This is not exactly the age of magic anymore. I mean, it could also just be like Something that's easier to find it on one plane and we pop over to another plane and use it there if that helps. Well, do you know the any spells that would allow you to locate things? Finding something that would enhance your own magic is a little bit more doable than something that would allow multi-dimensional search. So Someone can locate, locate, locate an object. Locate? Locate an object. Locate. I can locate <laughs> objects and creatures, which I need for both of the things. If we could expand the current distance that it works that would help as well? I could manage that, but it would take a bit of time in order to obtain the material. Say, let's see, for something of that one. Hmm. So how much of a distance do you need? An entire realm? Preferably. <coughs> the problem Maybe is not an entire realm. Do you need it on like short notice, or do you... Have about five days to wait. Would prefer it on short notice, but we can also do five days if necessary. I can probably find the necessary crystals yeah. relatively quickly. We could always see if it's just like in the area, like. I will say, if I manage like to regions. find this, it's not legal. That's fine. Darling, it is perfectly fine. We I, are actually, I prefer it to not be legal. Let's be honest. Darling, we are very well done. How that. many times have I sold you things that were not legal? I don't need to know the origins of the treasures you bring me. But that's honestly, not that's the me. only warning. Uh, yes, sorry. Wake little earth child. It will drain you more than you think. Yeah, probably. The cost of enhancing the spell is more magic in order to maintain it. So don't use it frequently. Put it. Do you need? It's a highly addictive drug. So he's be. going to be unuseful for about a day or two. Never after doing mind. it. Those crystals that you need are probably multiple things and are probably magical. Who would have imagined? 
I can obtain it. <clears throat> That would be appreciative. Oh boy, Are you stuff. having fun, Megan? We did exactly what you didn't want us to do. <laughs> We're like, please give us something. Yeah, because yes. our brains are like this when we should be like this. Yeah, I, I, I don't know where to go. Uh, I need a GPS, basically. Like, <sighs> in order to not do something that crosses an entire multi realm, give me three days. One, because the person who has it and owes me for a favor I did a few hundred years ago is a very hard individual to get a hold of. And two, travel. Of course, travel takes time. For most people now. Sounds good to me. Mm. And three days is doable. So, on top of all that wonderful information, what would you like in return for that? Promise a favor. Uh, you can't have my soul. Can I just now. give me a but shitload of money? Favor was sure. No, my soul. I'll not to, later. Not my soul either. It's <laughs> kind of got a... It's got a long things ahead of itself, apparently. <laughs> I just put mine back in me, so I don't really, I don't really want that to not be the case anymore. Oh, I, I can imagine this. you probably don't this. have the money for this kind of service at the present moment. It depends on how, how, how much money it. would that be? Somewhere in the realm of half a million. <laughs> I'm a little short on that right now. <laughs> By like, you did have half a million, and then you bought a lot of well, things. What have I told you? That. Don't spend it all in one place. For any, I didn't. <laughs> if you have any friends who are in the... Um, I don't have friends. I have a work if you partners. Have, if you have a place, wound me. You're more like my child. You have too many mothers. If you have work Kai is buddies, Elliot. Yeah, you have too many mothers. <laughs> it's not my fault, I collect them. <laughs> if you have any business associates some dads. You gotta round it out. who require grass fed, you play Rula female, non GMO beef. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness, I'm going to kill it's, this man. It's the, one inf- it's the one thing that we have. Oh my goodness. <laughs> you have something unique? I have a cow. Well, a cow. A cow. A cow. A cow that makes more cows. You know how any cow can make more. Cows. Yeah, I have a cow that's specifically quick. made to feed this. Mm-hmm. This should I tell them the whole thing? No. Never I fun. can. It's my interest, though I doubt that's on the table. You never get. Let's say you ask me. To, you ask me to make. You're losing point. your beef market. I can. We're. I'm okay you with offering a. Uh, favor. You asked me to make it for you, and then you never let me tell anyone about it. I don't want anyone to know about that. Exactly. So it's not that good for people to know I'm about proud that. Of what Do I you created. think I created that? You asked me to, you dumbass. No, I used my scroll and I made it. So in agreement for a favor, minus my soul. <sighs> that was something that Eula made via the wish scroll that they got. For delivering the kids. <laughs> you help with Word the idea. It. Yeah, you help with the idea and with the wording, but you eliminate it. I swore you, like, peer pressured me in the make. No. no. <laughs> you just went out and did it. You helped Eula with the idea, but Eula did use her wish scroll to make it one of them. Yeah, Eula kept multiple wish scrolls. <laughs> I would prefer a favor from all three, or at least one more. I'll offer you two favors if it's just from me. Well, I mean, the door's open, and Terry's just you. standing there, and he's like... A, f- no, a favor. Listening. Huh? No. I know Scarrow was standing there, and he just didn't go inside. He literally said something to her about, I mean, I can cover the legal factor of it. He said that to her. Hey, Scarrow, how, like, full is your promise account? Uh, I mean, Eula's promises offering. versus favors are not out. the same thing. 
Yeah, but well, this is a Feywild favor, so for me that it's might... It's not the same thing. okay with this? You know my favors can come at a decently high price. I'm calling on a favor now. To get you this material. I mean, yeah, if it be in my things, I'll get it for you. <laughs> I usually don't fall through with you. Except for at the roof that one time. Fully, be fully aware, I can like only take out a small city at this point. Fully aware, normally my favors aren't requesting you destroy things. I can... I'm a shop owner. I can make... I find things. I can make <clears throat> people. If I have I'm the right material. i not who... They're not... They're, requires... They're we can always bring back the head of the lich. Could do that. When we're done. Or a piece of a phylactery. Very tempting of an offer. <laughs> if you give me a couple of weeks, I can get you half a million gold pieces. It's... You know what? I think it's fine. It, honestly, I feel I like it'd be more intriguing to... Of curiosities to now that I'm... Now that I'm thinking about it, I think it actually be more fun to do the promise because to me get to do more weird things out in the open. I'm actually looking forward to this now. Yeah, I really... Yeah, no, I'm fine with this. Okay, so you get two favorite. from me, one from Eula, that's the three. So... Fun. That's what we're getting. As soon as you guys, like, shake hands, one, she feels kind of as if she is made of ice. Yeah. Very cold. I know as this. As soon as that occurs... A small snowflake gets branded upon you, and for you to appear. Hey. I am you can going where they go. At, at the end of all this, I'm going to be a fucking white dragonborn. Mm-hmm. They're, is, they're like right <laughs> behind my ear. No, I'm good. There is what one little neck tattoo. There is <laughs> one. Wow, that would have been great to blend in with mine. <laughs> There is you didn't go one the creature in this you entire plane of existence having you guess that I am willing to get marks on my body for. Meta. <laughs> yeah, that's that, that was kind of implied. You've mentioned your lot today. You, you're thinking of some things, Bradley. Bradley's doing some things. <laughs> Look, doing it's, some things. it's the one interesting thing my character has other than being an idiot. Got it. Perfectly fine. I have a snowflake. Have we what? drawn meadow yet? Because I think we definitely no, need to have some meadow haven't. art at some point. Got it. Eula Snowflake is going to be on her right ass cheek. <laughs> like a tramp stamp. <laughs> if it was a tramp stamp, would it be right above your ass? I said track? like a tramp like. stamp. It's going to be off to the side. Like right there. It's not even like perfectly centered on the butt. Yeah, it's no. Just it's just off, off to the angle. side. Just, off, just slightly offset to the side. Okay, white hair. Of the right butt. Not Interesting. Is that all the business I'll be doing today? How much? Points are just sword. You can't afford that. You could have been. Too sure. You seem like you need to ship some stuff. You almost been like thinking about it the entire time of the conversation, just like you know, it's screwed. How much? <laughs> How much? How much do you, one of you guys, love for us? Hmm? Will you guys fill up my cup with some ice and milk, please? One of you. Wait a parade! I have the cup. <laughs> I just need you to fill up my cup, please. He can fill me up a cup, too. Oh, I guess, potentially. You're my favorite Bradley. Mm-hmm. Like, favorite, comma, Bradley. Or my favorite. <laughs> right now. <clears throat> They've got so many more tattoos. See, that's what's like... I still don't know what you look like. Scar looks like. And I don't know either. She said she had a great idea for mine, but I haven't seen it yet. I haven't heard it yet. I'm honestly, I'm starting to lean more towards it's the wings that kind of got scarred in a lightning form across your. I have an idea. I'm working on the keys, but I also am struggling with the pose you requested specifically. Sorry, no, you can change it if you want. It's perfectly fine. I'll figure it out. I'm just not 
very good at this. I'm Sifted. working on it. I'm she also told me to give her references and I was like, nah, fine. This like I've got it me. worked out and I know how I want to do it. I am currently struggling with the angle with which your face is because I needed a certain angle to showcase part of what I want to do and it's there's things. You can it's in it. the process. You could also flip the image and switch it. If that helps for like the but side. For right now, how much? <laughs> More than you can afford. Well, I have things. Thank you. I've got a fancy sword, four goblets, a fancy glass mask, oh keys, to the, keys to a city. <laughs> okay. Keys to a city. You're just um, going to give those away. I have Aramis's orb. <laughs> Aramis's orb. <laughs> yeah, what do you mean by orb? Your orb from Kieran's Tower. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm a pondering orb. <laughs> You're pondering orb. I have every trinket that was in that tower. 1,000... One hundred gold pieces. I think you're a little short. A little bit short. If you need a loan, I can get you. Do you have that much money? I have... Oh wait, are you completely, like, absolutely broke? Pretty close. Eula has burned through all money preparing for the war. Yeah, that's not a lot either. I have... 11,350 gold pieces. I have like eight, I have 8,480 gold pieces. I have 13,740. I will hey, keep you that like in mind. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he has like over 100,000, I bet. <laughs> He's like four people. No. Poverty. I will keep that in mind. I can literally print money. You know, I could just raid the treasury. It's going to be my husband, right? So technically, it's going to be my treasury. We could raid Arya's treasury. I have a way in. That's We're not doing Arya's. I think that's. Arya? Write that down. Have a treasury. What? Like, Write that down. Think... Sixty thousand one hundred gold. Because I upmarked it by a decent bit. So and it won't pull up the same price if I do this. I mean, we can give her one hundred and five old gold pieces. Oh yeah, I have five hundred. Okay, you said it was six hundred sixty thousand. What? Sixty thousand one hundred. Were you guys actually going to offer those? Oh, I don't know. I keep forgetting. I don't know where. We're supposed I want to ask her what they are. <coughs> yes, she might. One because I now know. realize I want to talk to this woman. No, you didn't <laughs> I go just suddenly realized I desire communication. <laughs> it I, sucks to just wait outside, doesn't it? No, nope, that's not why I want to talk to this woman. I'm going to go inside and I'm like, one, your place is really cold. Two, to preserve my treasures. Dude. I realize that you like unique things. What are these? Interesting. And she just takes a few of them and she's just like, you guys have been terribly busy, haven't you? Terribly, terribly busy does not even begin to describe it. So much shit. Mm. We found out as we were going to go to Karen, didn't we? Mm-hmm. We yeah, we found them in the place where we were. Oh, I know the children. city's name. Yeah. In that city, it's it's like, like the city dragon. Thing. And you guys just see like a little bit of just oh, the magic. one where she'd made up the map. Like a circle of just magic, kind of just coming from our fingertips. Unique. These are just after the age of magic, probably from one of the ground cities that existed in that era. They can be fairly powerful if you get enough of them. They still have some faint traces of old magic. How many? How much is enough of them? Holy shit! Put them in a pile. Put them in a pile. Put them in the pile. Do it now. Huh. I need to know if it'll like this. <laughs> it's from Eros. <laughs> An old city. Uh, answer the question, though. <laughs> Please do it. How okay. much did you guys have of them? I had four, 140 something. So that's what the shekels were. I wrote them down on my sheet as shekels. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm fucking confused. Yeah. She literally said, write them down as old gold pieces. That's what I did. Yeah. Grab it. Shekels. I, mean, I wrote them down as E coins because I didn't write down the full city, but the city's name is Eros. Literally, Megan told us to write them down. You guys need down. to invest in E coin. As old <laughs> right. gold pieces. I'm going to pull out 141 four, 
141. 141. Well, 140. One E. Hang on. One e. I had 105. One e. You had how many? I need to 520. How many? I got it. Blazing. Closures. 141. 141. 428. We had 1,194 altogether. If we put that to the pile, does that do anything for his thing that he wanted? Maybe if I wiggle my fingers at it like a wizard or something no, like that. No, also, just don't answer us of how much we need for, like, if we get enough of it. You'd be like, we have a good little pile. I also have this, and I pull out a brazier. <laughs> <laughs> it's like my, a full tall brazier. My floors. When I turn around, they better be perfectly repaired. It's not a heavy brazier. It doesn't cry. She I will does fix it. It's literally ice. <laughs> no, that was fantastic. She was like, it's not a heavy brazier. It's a, I'll fix it. <laughs> we can put the coins in the brazier. Has <laughs> anyone got a cup of water and I'll fix the I floor? I don't necessarily think you guys truly understand how powerful these coins can be in the right hands. They we do not. That's why we're we asking. Don't. They have older magic. Magic that's... Not necessarily allowed anymore. Oh, fantastic. We love illegal. So, shape. like, 10 plus. I bring love illegal. So we're oh, you're like... going to show Doll the coin? That's a great thing to do. Maybe Doll knows the other symbols on there. We should ask Doll that. <laughs> you know what these symbols are? <laughs> you mean, like, 10 plus spell slot? Doll's oh. palace is good for so, learning lots of weird magical things. Doll's palace is slickers heavily. You see why I sell most of my shit here? These coins. She can get pretty much anything. Very long. This is what we need. Which one was it? The entire old magic symbol sides start to light up and flicker. Damn it! So we need a lot. So we need to go to the material We're also plane. We're still <laughs> missing two of the actual magic yeah. ones. We're oh, gonna get them through three. normal. Which one? Three. Need? Never mind. There's a circle that's not fully lit up. Never mine mind. Mine says you were missing. Never mind. Yep. We don't answer that. If you wanted to just no, we know which ones it is because it literally goes on the line. Because you put them in alphabetical order. <laughs> so we know which ones we're missing. We're missing enchantment. Uh, what comes in between evocation and necromancy? Hmm. But so Come on, Alpha. Wizard. <laughs> Conjuration definition. <laughs> Sorry, I don't remember the song. What are, the, what are all the things of magic? Okay. Yeah, Admiration, conjuration, divination, enchantment, evocation. Necromancy. No, that. Actually? We're missing three. Okay. Missing evocation, Ellen, Mr. Burnish, check a future friend. Necromancy, spreads the dying, or you could just rhythm. Abjuration, keeps you safe and all the same. Divination, helps you sense, detect, immune, and copy. Conjuration, portals, a mix of a free. <laughs> Transmutation, transmutation. Other things. With right. enchantment, buff to buff in between, and illusion. Fizzle, illusion. 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 illusion.
as your toes explode or or do they send angels down and tell you that you're defying and stepping into the realms of gods and then you have to fight angels and then the devil shows up and you gotta fight that you could ask Carson. Yeah, uh, what happened to him was pretty well documented. Not really. Either. Actually, it's not, and that's the problem. You just know caused the fall of the Age of Magic. Started put, up the newest age after the Age of Dragons. Do you have any books about Carsus? And never Please, will. if I had any books about Carsus, I most certainly wouldn't share that. Nobody has books on Carsus. Nobody has books from Nethril, either. Though what I wouldn't give to have some. What about a vision? I put up most of my coins, but I'm kind of, I hold two of them, and I'm like... Old magics? Is that what we're looking for? Yes. How long ago was the age, the magic, anti-magic age bullshit? When everything I'm was chaos? History. How old was it? Long, long time ago. Roughly. Eight thousand five hundred and twenty-five years. I reach into a bag. Are those? You know? For those the of you age who of don't, dragons immediately led into the age of magic. <laughs> for those of the I reach into a bag. I pull out a really old book. For those of the audience, and I kind of extend it out. I was like, "What does this do to the coin?" I just kind of like hold it out towards the coin. <laughs> for those of you who don't know, eight thousand years really, is longer really than all of human civilization that has been recorded. The Fifth and fourth circle on the old magic's side lights up. And stay lit. Temporarily. Okay. Come. How close do you bring them? I bring it about this about this far. And then pull back. <laughs> Once you pull, pull back. it back, it dims. Where did you get that book? What is that book? We pulled that from the Oh yeah, this is I think I wrote she was it. Preparing. We literally watched her read it. I think I wrote it. A lot. It was annoying. So she remember she was like in your arms. Just I'm reading. Oh, I have an idea. No, what that you... was a different book. Was it? Yeah. Why that... didn't you do that? Like, and she initially holds the book closer. You guys notice, like, the book itself almost looks like it's t- the paper is deteriorating once it gets close oh, to time. Yeah. When she pulls it back, it repairs itself. Ooh, the coin wants to eat your book. If it's eating the book, I'm first writing down what's in the book on something else. <laughs> so I'm gonna keep this on the Here's oh, the one. I have an idea. Doll, can you read this? And I'm gonna flip to the one page where it's just scrawls of bullshit. Can't you read that now? Yeah, you I don't who, know. You who reads can all Can I now read that? Because it it was in some place. No, I haven't. At some places, it's just like all like. Someone scratched a hole, basically, into it of just ink. Just. Try. So I was like, wasn't that what you? <laughs> I opened to the page. Like you can talk and read all languages. And hey, Megan, how weepy is this book? I could say it was very close to the source of the destruction of Nethril. <laughs> I've had this book <laughs> since before we went, like right after we came out of the maze. I have had this probably book. Probably wouldn't be considered a primary source. Probably would be considered a secondary. And from what I know, I think technically I wrote this book. <laughs> you what? Do you have any idea of like how? Because why you write shit down? Do you I have, have this. Valuable- You've known about this book for so long. I have. Down. It just forgot to look at it now that she knows how to read all Actually, it's it. right here. I, old dragon book I, for I, our freedom. I do not remember this text at all. <laughs> I do. She literally went sit there and read the book. It. Yeah, I went and I actually took time to repair the book to where it doesn't just deteriorate as soon as you this open it. This is how she was starting to fall apart so she took a lot of time. This is how she now knows <laughs> the ancient dra- draconic and stuff. I was say, isn't that the one that gave you the skill? Like, No, this one does not This one yeah. give me any kind of skill. This is how she knows this ancient a, draconic. Yeah. This is how we figured out that I know ancient draconic. Yeah. <laughs> Aramis is so I open it. 
Do I read? Can I read anything there? Yeah, you probably read a decent bit. Aramis, Aramis, oh, is just gonna, Aramis, Aramis is just going to make it. She's just been waiting for you to open this again. <laughs> hey, I need a mirror realm real quick. Why? I need a mirror realm real quick. O okay. I start reading the book. Just give her a second. So the first few pages, I do recall you. Have yeah, I was been able to. That yeah. it was mostly about you know enslavement and yeah. all that. It's basically a diary. Thing. Yes. There comes a point where it switches and it's like, the Age of Dragons is no more. This has become the Age of our King. Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit. This is useful. This is kind of useful. I gave this I to only, so long ago. I only paid like a hundred like, gold for this and that was it. And she didn't think he'd ever be able to read it. And then he did dump shit and she, she knew what was happening. She's like, she'll never remember to open it. Hey, guess what? You finally remembered. I just remember that it was old. And they're like, well, whenever I was originally like, told, it this? was all of a sudden it becomes just unintelligible, just written on top of each other, on top of each other, on top of each other, on top of each other. Unless someone was trying to write it that way, and someone could yeah. potentially read it. I don't know. And now that you can read everything, maybe you can read all of this. We'll figure it out. But originally, I was told it was basically, and then like some pages just are solid black with ink. Specifically, you get kind of a secondary perspective. This person was never permitted into the flying cities of scholars. They okay. were a mere merchant that lived amongst the cities that stayed on the ground. And it talks about how some of the more prissy nobilities that existed in this era called this the Age of Arcane Invention. Mm. You get a bit more just general, like, day-to-day -day life things, merchant. You get the sense that this might not be something you personally wrote, though it might be someone fairly close to you. They specifically speak This was your of life a town a that existed on the northern coast. This is from the OG. <laughs> a town on the northern coast. This is in Material Plane, correct? If I'm remembering correctly? Yes. Oh, shit. <laughs> on the northern coast that existed several weeks away from the capital city of Nethriel. It talks about a clan of vampires and fae and dragonborns who took residence there. <laughs> they were just a traveling merchant. It also speaks of a strange boy who showed up shortly after. <laughs> God damn it! Continue. I've had him from the shortly beginning! Shortly after tornadoes of blue fire started ravaging the countryside, this person had to take shelter in the small settlement as opposed to traveling the nomadic life they had enjoyed after their escape from their master. A strange boy with cool eyes. Din. The pages are burned up. God damn it. Well then. <laughs> I don't know how to communicate him to let me out. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm just there, I'm like, hmm. Anyways, what does anyone else want to do? Because you're going to have to figure that one out. She's been staring at that book for a while. I, uh, like I, was, I put away a good chunk of my uh, money, but I hold out two of the gold coins, and I'm like, do you have ways you can give me information from the veil? I'll offer you some coin that you seem very intrigued to. I'll even give you more if you want more than two. The city did too. And here spot. is how my rooms was perfectly set. It's where we were. Set in the ice. the ice storm. <laughs> I'll 
take a few more of your coins and the information of how you figured it out. Drop a few more, hand to her, and I... It's ten. Give her ten, exactly then. That's what she says, and she's kind of sitting there holding them, like, just waiting until she gives me a number, I'm like, there you go. I hand her ten of them, I'm like, one. I may not have known my brother, but... I've heard enough about him to know what uh, he looked like in the end life. Two, I have seen all kinds of elves, and I'm a very observant person. Mm -hmm. And while everyone else was a Talking, I was kind of just standing outside of your uh, shop looking in. It's also kind of noticeable when you shake hands with two people and uh, your body gets encased almost in solid ice when you make a promise. Oh, come now, I could have been in winter allergic. I've seen enough winter hydrants. Oh no, I'm, they yeah, I'm interested in whatever kind of dick measuring contest punch. this is. Oh, it's on nice. dick measuring contest, honey. <laughs> alright, alright. If you mention this to anybody and they start bringing fire to my palace, I will hold you personally responsible. Can you let me out? Yeah, the ruse is up, though, I suppose, for you. I may not. Close the door. This isn't cold enough to kill you. I shut the door. I step in and I shut the door. I may not. Come around this area as much being the prince, but I do hold the lives of my people very high. I would not spread your secret around, especially if you can do something for me. It's a good thing I spaced out and have no idea what that secret is. Because I'm a moron. Oh shit, it's speaking of which. Is my home. Wait, what? <laughs> and I can't stray too far from my palace for very long. The moment I felt how cold this place was was also a uh, nail biter in that statement because I have been to the Vale, tested Vale. Been one of the people tested to see how long they can survive in the veil. Not comfortable? Yeah, I find this delightful. I find it frigid. So I'm not sure what's happening here, but apparently this is from before the Age of Arcanum. Yeah, we could have told you that. Yeah, uh, dude, that thing has got so much weave string attached to it that it looks like a ball of yarn. Yeah, no, it also talks about whenever Kieran first shows up as a child. Yeah. Karen, baby. Well, not baby. But apparently, no, he's not um, the king. He escaped his master. What do you mean That's his... not how I worded it. No. After he had been released from his no. master? No, that was the traitor. The person who was writing the traitor. It. No, dude. The, the guy who it's... was writing the story escaped the master. All it says about Karen is He is now that... watching a child. All oh, it says about Kieran okay, is that he was a little boy. that as Kieran no. had escaped from his master. Okay. Everyone else got it. understood it. Got yeah, it. Yeah, I, I, I got it. to read the fucking book and I got it. Never mind. Got it. So. No. <laughs> My bad. No. The way it's described, it's from the perspective of a dragonborn who had mm -hmm. fairly recently escaped a dragon master. Okay. And had chosen a nomadic lifestyle of a traitor because, mm -hmm. you know... Freedom after enslavement is kind of... It's nice. <laughs> okay, got it. Once the plague years began, they had to take residence in the settlement on the northern coast. 
from the city of Nethril. A few weeks into their stay there, a boy shows up. Mm-hmm. Randomly. Young Go. boy. Boy. Young adult. Very big. Mm-hmm. On their turn on that one. They mostly technically would have referred to him as just a young man at that point. But for your translation, I have to be a bit more specific. More so than I anticipated. <clears throat> They also specify that this settlement is mostly made up of other dragonborns. Vampires Vampire and, and Fae. Yeah. <laughs> I know what this yet. is. Oh yeah, no, I know exactly what this camp is. Do you? Mm, right. I'm pretty sure this is the camp right before they sent off they sailed off into the Sea of Chaos. Interesting. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Hey, is it back to our actual conversations? So you. What do you desire for me to look? Mm-hmm. This would be one of the only excursions I can personally and see for myself. I need to know if Kieran has any flactories in the veil. Interesting. What makes you think that? The veil is not exactly cozy, we'll say. Because Oberon has hunting grounds there. Mm-hmm. One of the very few fae who can actually manage the forest. <sighs> and if Oberon has hunting grounds there, there's possibilities that there's a phylactery there. And I just want to make sure that there's not. You know that despite being from there, there are some areas even I can't withstand that quite. The fortress itself is an impenetrable barrier of ice. I know. Mm, Few frozen fae can withstand it without the blessings. If you can't... What would those blessings happen to be? Technically speaking, when his brother served as the king of the ice fae will say. He would offer blessings for those who uh, desire to work under him in order to withstand the freezing cold that encompassed the fortress. I... I think... Not one of those. I don't think we could do blessings, but I think we might have something to let us inside there then. I don't think that's something you should share too loudly. I know, that's why I'm just sharing it with you. But, if you think you have a means of getting into that fortress, and I cannot find it anywhere else in the veil, then I would keep that in your back pocket for now. Will do. If you don't find it anywhere else in the veil, let me know. Do we have it? It has been several years since I returned home, so much has probably changed. Probably. I I know there are found some interests in becoming a collector of curiosities here in the city. If you need help getting there. I can help get you there. I have a more direct route to this. I see. No, no. Well, anything else that we need to talk about before we head on out? You traded me some ancient curiosities that are seldom seen in this realm that could possibly be catalysts for immensely powerful magic. I've gotten a couple of favors out of you. And I have to find some rather evil arcane crystals in about three days, whilst also planning a trip home to the Frozen. Sounds like it is going to be so fun. You guys are rather busy customers. I plan to make you returning customers. At least I I love coming here for every time. This is the second time I've... been coming here since I was like 14. This is the second time I've come here, I... I, (laughs) 
Every time I come here, I buy something except for like maybe this time would be the only time I did. This didn't. is the second time I've met you. It's the first time I even said anything to you. This is the first time I've been here, and I actually gave yeah. you money. I gave her money too. <laughs> Giving her a lot of money. No, this time you didn't. I'm yeah. saying this is my no, first this time. time we gave I'm money. afraid of shaking anybody's hands in this realm. You As Eula be. turns around, one last thing. Do you notice? Seeing you how, from what I overheard, I do, this <laughs> do you notice anything different about me, Stone Child, or Metal One over there? I swear to God, if you call me Stone Child, I will stab you. Do you want to? Do you want to sword that will uh, engrave her soul? Well, what? everyone who's here knows it. Knows what? You know, I am from the Vale. I can recognize the call of an old command, we'll say. Though it grows faint. Interesting. If we have to go there, I was just wondering if it was something that I, that everyone would see. And whether or not it would be helpful or hurtful. Old. With an ice. Demeanor. With a nice heart. Yes. Yeah, but is it like that their whole thing? No. No. This one's a lot more mad and angry. They... The ice fairy were not always cold-hearted. My brother got his heart destroyed. Broken. Broken. Mm-hmm. And betrayed. And betrayed and turned mad. Therefore became a hurtful and unruly king. Ah. The nice fae ones were no different from the fae you see around you in the city. Just but literally you know, cold. Twisted. Hmm. They basically have turned almost into their arch fae ways. To match the one who ruled them. Do you have any? Hearing magic across an entire realm can cause some almost devastating changes. Morals are gone. They're tricky. Bloodthirsty. Was there a burst of fire? Yes. If you can produce a fire that can withstand the ice. Was there any topics? And she just blows out the little fiery zone. No, I, I, I wasn't even gonna try. And, I was, I wasn't even trying to set on fire. Mm. Does shadow fire count as a thing? Like, is that a thing at all? I'm just like a little. Take a trip to the Vale and find out. The edges that line the border of Arathusa Peaks or the Prison of Thorns should be warm enough for you to test out a few things before you freeze. Well, I mean, I kind of got this weird birthmark on my soul, and it does strange things, so... Was there any topics after he switched that seemed to keep him happier, reduce the sadness, anger, at any point? Do you like jazz? I was not one who got close. Mm. I actually stayed to the border. But have you heard anything of what he liked to talk about afterwards? I left home. How do you think I'm here? As opposed to the region I'm supposed to belong. Alright. I was just curious to see if you'd heard anything. My family fled. And prices were paid. Also, though that is a tale not worth digging out still. Okay. Well, not everyone's supposed to be where they belong, and everyone belongs. So, I believe we have one more person to contact, and then a war to oversee. Or a war to, you know, be in. Oversee makes it feel like we're just, you know, like, go do my bidding. I'm going to add that to the party bullshit list. What? You guys finally discovered something about Dahl. Mm hmm. Oh, hairs and I see a part. 
It also helped that you guys had recently brought up that conversation. That's mostly what played which, into it. Which conversation? Your previous conversation with Arya. Mm. In all honesty, the likelihood of you guys piecing it together was very small, mostly because none of you have ever directly encountered the type of fate you would need to in order to identify one. But, you did recently just talk about it. Fresh on your mind. Nice! However, only two of you would have had the chance to really identify it, and one was occupied with other things. Sorry, I'm trying to... Like, soot. <clears throat> Alright. Blinded by the familiarity of a... a maternal figure, I would say. Yeah, I collect moms. Yeah, he has a lot of mom figures. <clears throat> Alright. All right. Elliot, again, We're off to see Eula leaves. We're off to see the Which warlock. Which by proxy and elimination, that leaves one who is more inclined yep. to figure it out. Well... Thank you for your time, ma'am. We're off to see the warlock, the wonderful warlock of fate. Um, yeah, we can't see her. I have, we have no idea where she is. Um, that one is gonna have to be a spell. We do know exactly where her house was. Yeah, but I feel like it's not there anymore. Or at least I feel like she's not there. Oh shit! Um, I was supposed to sell those drugs and get Clary money. <laughs> Turns around. I have a shit load of drugs to sell to you. Boatload. It's not really shit. It's small. Maybe I will cast you. sending. Clary. All right. You guys have gotten a lot more information this time around. Who would have guessed? Yeah. Actually, talking to your fucking oh, allies. Shut up. Jumpstart some of this, or looking in your own inventories. <laughs> Everyone, please, for the love of God, check everything you have in your inventories. You have no idea what you have at this point, apparently. Um, I knew what I had. Aramis is not picked it's just up. You had told me that it would be like it was just scratched over and over and over again, where it's not, in other words, I just assumed it was unintelligible. I didn't realize it was another language. Aramis hasn't really picked up a lot of doodads. <laughs> He's got the boots of Elven kind and the ring of shooting oh stars. <laughs> He's got. Just he, two sirs just staring at us from Bradley's chair. <laughs> He's got Specifically, I see him staring at me over Dimmer's shoulder under the... There's a light just right on his face. He's got... I've got an explorer's pack. He is a big guy. I've got an amulet of the plane. I've got 5,000 GP and gems. I don't have a witch scroll anymore because I gave it to him and he lost it. So I need to cross that out. I didn't lose it. It's in the it's in the treasury. We know exactly where it is. I didn't lose it. I know exactly where it is. It's right over there. I didn't lose it. You haven't asked for it back. <laughs> Smart ass. Anyways, all right. So she told me I ship. still had it. On to the ship. <laughs> and that's where I'm assuming we're all going, correct? While I'm ship. thinking about it, what did you do with my wish scroll? <laughs> <laughs> <That's it. laughs> to the I ship. This, but it is funny. <laughs> So right. y'all are making your way to the ship. I'm gonna wait till we're on the ship to do the sending. So how are we gonna find On the ship or in the mansion? Uh, I'll do it in the mansion. Wait, I have an idea. I'm gonna run into the mansion portal. Okay. You, how? It's in the air. Mm-hmm. I'll run into the mansion portal. I can run on air right no, now. You can't. You have to actually get flown there this time. Yeah, I can't you like hold you. Too? I can't put you up. I can't put you on anymore. I can so, ride my uh, dragon up there. I can't hold you. I can't put you on anymore. So here I'm you go. Gonna... And Eula just opens the bag. Hold on. Because I got to fly Kai up there. Get bagged, son. Damn, too bad you don't have a Don't waste spell slots. Item. Don't waste witch, spell slots. Just witch. get in the bag. I have a witch's broom. That bag is demeaning. That it's is half a mile in the one. air. Why it's don't more you just than that. carry him? Because I can't. Is now his because weight now makes me now move heavy. very slow. My scales are made of steel. Oh, steel is not light. He's fat. Sorry, <laughs> he's not hollow Spar- anymore. I'm not fat. I'm Spar- moderately above hang average on, hang musculature. On, hang on, Spark, honey. Will you let him ride on you up there? I know he's not your person, but will wait, you I have a fucking dragon. What am I? She's no, not, not here. Oh, the, the, the only one that's here. Spark. No. 
<laughs> the only one that's here is Spark in this because she won't leave my side. Spark, would you please carry me up to the thing? <laughs> Why does everyone hate the fucking bag? It's goddamn paradise inside the fucking bag. But all of y'all know we're too good for paradise. We're too good for the bag. You'll start flying off. But no, we can't fly in the bag no more because the bag's too demeaning. Because she Fine, does. I guess, but like. Don't wake her. I'll try not to, buddy. Yeah. It's a girl. Yeah, I call. Okay. Yeah, buddy is gender neutral, doesn't it? Buddy is gender neutral. It does not sound for gender neutral. Buddy. Yula's just ranting about people not wanting to be in the bag anymore as she flies up to the ship. the pillow or the blanket, I will cut you. Actually, I won't cut you. I'll drop you. <laughs> I <did>. Take that. <laughs> okay. For I'm not, doing, for doing I'm not going I'll to let tell you her that I can feather fall. Get back. I'll let you get in the bed when we get back. Thank you, Spark. More energy next time, but sure. <laughs> Thank you, Spark! <laughs> that sounds like party party. <laughs> why, thank you, Spark, my dear fella. I don't know why I was, when you said that, my brain was like, Thank you, buddy. Where did you go from? Nobody asked who would doll a favor. You know what? I don't need to know who owns do- who owes doll a favor because it's probably going to be something that I don't really you know need to know at that point. <laughs> Anyways, let's go! I'm gonna come help you in just a minute, Anyways, baby. Anyways, let's go. Okay. See Daisy, we're in the mansion. Yep. Yep. Travel time. Um, Skip. Clary. Crash and Okay, we're in the mansion. I assume. You already or are yeah. you on the ship? Yeah. No, I'm in the mansion. I'm hungry and ready to get dinner started. It's 8.30. Clary, darling, do you have any way to locate... Objects across realms. We're looking for a lich's phylactery. Really need some help messing with fate. And that's 25. I love how you smiled at the end of that. Go, uh. Do, do you like me throwing fate in there? This both you was bullshit. You specified you were looking for phylacteries, right? Yes. Well, he said he he said a lich's phylactery. Yeah. He did not say plural. A lich's phylactery. I want to read that. Okay. Sorry, I promise I am still listening. I just assumed you guys would want to eat at some point, too. Yeah, but I forgot to do the dishes before you start cooking, so. I just had a really late lunch, so I haven't been super hungry. You're fine. <laughs> <laughs> And then I have something to do after I get this response back from Clary. And I am doing something, but I am waiting my turn. How dare you wait your turn? (laughs) You have some hair that's just so long. Look how long it is. It's so long. It's like three or four inches. It's like four inches long. What? We're looking at your long. We're looking at your long four inches. Mm-hmm. Anyways, seriously, I am not the goddess of magic herself. If you need help finding phylacteries, I might have a method for that. Message me later. She's busy. Got it. Doing a call back later. I'm running in the mansion. Because I want to see if I have any of your books. Now. I'm very happy with how it's going, but my head is going about to explode in a minute, so if we can get to a stopping point, could I don't want to not be paying attention. I at least want to get to 
the start of the actual battle. That's fine. At the minimum. I'm just <laughs> letting you know my head's about to explode, and I want. Is to it just be too actually, much information? No, or? my head's hurting. Oh. Like I want to be actually fully paying attention, but my head is throbbing. If we can at least survive till you guys start the play That's fine. of the battle, we'll say. That is fine. Yep. Then I'll consider that a success. But that is literally what I've been trying to push everyone to get there. Yeah. Alright, so then I'm going to do this next one really quick. I'm going to go into the mansion. Alright, you are there, are there any really old looking books in the, in the collection I got from It down? is literally your father's old ass books. They are literally ranging from 8,525 years ago Fuck it. Who now? Fuck it. Detect ma- ritual detect magic investigation. Which one looks the oldest and the most magical? May I roll investigation for that? Yes. But in order to do that, I will require you to pass an arcana check. It is a high DC. Okay. I'm good at that. You can guide yourself. I, I know. That's a 33. That's a pretty good one. Fantastic number. That's a pretty yes. good one. You are able to start to piece together how the weave itself forms the magic symbols that you think are associated with magic symbols. They look very simple, like similar to the white symbols of magic that you are very familiar with, but there are some noticeable changes. The ones from your time are a lot more simplified than the ones from the old era, no. we'll say, are complex in a way you can't fully really understand, <coughs> oh, in a way you have no access to. I'm working with water dance magic. Woohoo. I can still do all this cool shit. Yay. Hey, is it? Um, honestly, for the most part, most of them only have faints remnants of it, even lesser than the coins. Well, now that you're able to identify it, you can see like, the coins glow fairly decently. The books, not so much. Damn it. Okay. Clop, 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 clop. Back out of the mansion. Why are you clopping? You have boots of elven kind. Do you not wear them? I am fucking, I don't know, I want. I silently right. run. So, so, right. so we're heading out. Oh, yes. I don't have any. I tried to see if I, I had any old books that did the trick, but I don't. So, so also, we're about to head out to the also, fighting, correct? Apparently, we use baby mode magic. Yes, very much so. Like, really baby mode mm-hmm. magic. Like, fourth grader. Yes. Yes. Now. Since we're about to deal with a whole lot of fuck shit and not know what we're dealing with, I have some things that I wish to depart to all of you. First and foremost, I'll need your dragons here as well. Whistle. I have no... Aramis tries to whistle. He's never whistled before in his life. And he couldn't even try when he was in a suit of armor because he didn't have any lungs. It was just... Alright, Aramis can't whistle. Got it. Everybody in the dragons are there. Yep. Sorry, I was so, really silly. to ensure everyone's quote-unquote safety during this, or at least the best that we can, I've been making some things. <laughs> and I reach into the bag of country upkeep and repair, and I pull out, for each one of the dragons, a full adamantine plate armor set. Where the fuck did you get that from? Oh, I bought adamantine a long time ago. I made How these. Does it... Can they even fly with that? Yes. yes. Mm-hmm. Oh. What's their name? And AC. Mm-hmm. You? AC additives? Oh, 23. Their AC is now 23. All of them? Yep. And I also pull out one for Situation and Cairo as well. And... You see Cairo kind of just like prancing around once you put on a new fit? Mm-hmm. And... This... This is for y'all to help hopefully keep y'all safe whenever I'm not there to do it. And Eula starts pulling out large constructs. Specifically six of them. 
These have made, been made specifically to keep y'all safe and make it best for y'all. Here is stat sheets for y'all about what these things are and what they do. You each have two. I mean, okay, but I want to see this piece. We you each, each have, have two. two. We each have two of these. I wonder why yes. you listed broke as fuck. I've been trying to make sure that we're as prepared as we can going into this. Don't you guys made you? Look at that. Bodyguards. I specifically request looking at the reactions part of that. You must been busy, we'll say. They trade places. Can I do that with them? Um, it's not just you. You can do it with your... I know, but I want to do that on Tuesday. Tuesday. Mm-hmm. Somebody keeps getting fucking good. I, I spent days making a spell for my girlfriend, and then you were making these the whole time. Oh yeah, there's two for her as well. <laughs> Eric's is gonna kill you. <laughs> I made two really for each of us. You it takes also spent a days long time, time to make these. these. No, no, months. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but days and like outside. Days outside days in the bag. I've been working on these for months. <laughs> a strength saving throw, a plus twelve. Hot damn. So yeah. Immunities. <laughs> Condition immunities, charmed, exhaustion, frightened, incapacitated, paralyzed, petrified, poisoned, or stunned. I'm not actually going to have to, like, control these during a battle, right? That means the big battle is going to take, like, 350 years if we're each, con- like, controlling two war cards, all of Denver stuff, multiple other things. Could we just so this is what they I look like. Ideally, when you guys do the big fight, your allies will not be considered within the initiative. They'll be ho- hopefully, like they'll be holding off. Like, In all honesty, you basically. just Thank take God. some time and look at this, and you should be able to actually like see what it does, and you Could should you have a good idea. Combine them into one unit. Mm-hmm. Thank God. Like just treat two of them as one. I don't know. And this whatever you want to do. You have two of them now. So you're saying ideally for the fight against Kiern, like you guys would be only handling people of interest, and all of your allies are like background fighting, like all the other. So these people. guys will be background, is what I'm saying. No, those are made to be right now with you because it's made to take your place. This is what it. I was saying. I don't yep. want us controlling two of these. You could have all of us having have one. one. And then one keeping with you. Because that's going to be forever in a thing. If we all have two of those, Denver has his 350 things over there. Oh, no, I'm not going to be doing 350 things. Those are all going to be back. The only things that I'm going to have probably would be Situation Kairos. Maybe meant. Figure it out. This going to be it. <laughs> but, other than that, so, here's a little paper about what they are, what they do. Say hi to them. They want, They want to be your friends. Um, I'm going to go fly the ship now. Bye! And you'll fly, leave. You're going to fly the ship to the where? To the war! There you go. So. Back to the play. <laughs> we have a show to get to and we're late! <laughs> we're fashionably late. We're actually not late. We so. took like an hour or two to do the thing. Yeah. Pretty much. So, so it's about like... Travel takes no time for us anymore. Noonish. <laughs> I love this helm. Imagine how much we could have gotten done being stolen this sooner. Well, I would have had to the I would have had to need the spell to make it. I didn't get unlocked the spell until I unlocked Wish, so Yeah, but we got that like a while back too. Yeah. You know but. what I love? Mm. I didn't get an armor to increase my armor class, even though they've all said I needed an armor to increase my armor class. The dragon got it, it's fine. You can talk to, you know what? We can talk no, about making this some I'm not gonna talk about it. I'm just saying I love how since day one I All three of them have said, I need a different armor no. to increase my armor. No, you want to know why? Because, because you just armor. need healing. You're <laughs> just like, I need healing. He's in Max Health. You motherfucker. That's why. Is okay, Adam Bantu have, like, ma- over 200. You're, you're good if you get hit. Is well, Adam Bantu magical? I'm arrive. saying, I love how... You and Denver specifically keep saying we really need to get him some armor to increase his armor class. No, I said that a while back. I haven't said it. I haven't said it in a while. A yeah, because I don't remember. It. You're fine. You got yourself fun. You, you have seen. Anyway. Okay, 
if Scare wants, you have seen that Eula is very careful to make armor now. Oh, no, you I can ask for some armor. I have I left over at a mansion. joke that y'all have been the ones who said y'all needed to get my armor class up. Because I get hit a lot. <laughs> yeah, and half the time it's your own fault. I mean, I can make some adamantine armor. I got some left over. Not much. Not much. Probably got like one suit left in me. Mm, it's like that drained most of your supplies, didn't it? Yeah. Mm. It drained damn near all of our money. Uh, I will confess to this. Those oh, yeah. prices were they very were not cheap. Steep. But I also have some other things I've been working on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I have. <clears throat> no, I actually still have a good, I have an okay amount of animation. You know, I could probably make a quite uh, like three or four more sets of armor. I got like the that'd be it. Three packs of But yes, we arrive at the fight. Yes, we do. So wait, are we doing fried rice, or is it just chicken and rice? Yeah. So I'm just doing this rice, and then you can add soy sauce and yummy sauce. And you have the actual yummy sauce from the store, don't you? Mm. There's only six bucks. Alright, moving on. Six bucks for that? Damn! It's regularly like $10. Anyway, her head is on a timer. Keep going. Yeah. So, we're there. Okay, so. You guys are there. Do you guys want to actually roleplay any part of prepping up for... Setting yourselves up onto the bed. I would like to at least look around to see where it's the best place to set up. Okay. What is our role in this? We're just kind of watching. We're watching and waiting until something drops. We're readying in case something happens. Y'all are basically playing the part of. We have the special ops. We're waiting for set to go wrong so we can jump in. So, target spotted. Yep. Locked on. Y'all chose to do this in the Plains of Echoing Thunder, mm-hmm. a region of the map that is known for continuously having great clouds over it and thunder mm-hmm. and sinners. That's also part of why it's like that. Mm-hmm. Plains. So it's very flat? Some slight hills, the occasional like stick worth of a tree. <sighs> Well, I think the best way to do this, seeing how we're in a plains, is to wind lead, by a forest on both edges, but they're fairly far apart. Is to set up the ship in between both forces in the sky, seeing how it is invisible. Do you guys need an actual visual on the legion? It's hmm. literally here. The forests are there, there. There's the water here. <coughs> there's where the old encampment is. Yeah, that's not how I do that. That's the mirror of wishes. We decided to do it below it. Yeah. Right. Um, my hands. They cramp. Mm-hmm. We Carpal tunnel. You guys want your own little rice fields? I would love that. Yeah. We did uh, cool. decide when we were deciding who was fighting on what sides that it was Scara's front line and some generals. It is and we were supposed to talk about was Scara going to be out there because it's Scara's front line. Front line is what the the Warforged are, Scara's front line. And it'd look really weird if the general is back and he's not out there fighting with his people. Yeah, no, that tracks. <laughs> Eula is... What do when you find out that's not really your mom? How much time has passed? That's... Just closing in on like sunset, so it would be considered like twilight. Yes. Give or take. I just needed a few more hours or something to finish, and it has finished. All right, moving on. Eula is holding an action. <laughs> is staying on the ship, angling the ship to where she's able to fire said cannons if needed but also preparing to drop in at a moment's notice above the center where the fighting will take place. You're in the air? Mm-hmm. Where's the fighting taking place for y'all specifically? Um, I'm this saying, is a large area. Do y'all have a specific place? I was thinking more or less right underneath where it says the right underneath the end of planes. 
literally smack dab in the middle. And that's what I was thinking. Yeah, I was thinking pretty much in the middle. Smack dab in the middle, able to see things coming from a mile away. I'm gonna be on watch. I got a good perception. Yeah, Eula's waiting on the ship. Aramis is on the ship. I'm in the crow's nest. on the ship. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Kai's in the crow's nest looking apparently. How far away? You guys are doing it to where y'all are that high. I would say y'all don't have advantage. Y'all don't have super vision. No, no, I'm saying uh, by high, like 500 feet to 600 feet off the ground. Y'all don't have supervision. Super okay. 500 feet. You still don't have supervision. That's wherever the actual war is happening, so we're actually setting above it. Just to, like, whenever the two armies collide, it'll be right below us. So y'all would lose line of sight. Yeah, because yeah. we have broadsides. If, if the boat is here and the battle's here, you ain't seeing shit below it, Denver. Oh, sorry. My bad. No, I'm saying below it, my head's things in a different... Okay. Here's where the battle's happening. Instead of the ship being here, it's like right here. Okay. Sorry. So if you're... So looking... it's still in a close sense, it's directly above it, but like... Or in a wide sense, it's directly above it, but in a close sense, it's off to the side above it. My bad. Now then, the other thing I am saying is... You you're 500 feet above it. You can't really see 500 feet below you easily. Yeah. What are we thinking? 300? Hey! I would argue you would not have advantage on sight unless you were within like 120 feet. Oh, I'm not getting that close. Yeah. And then. Um, then I would say. At what about? Best, I would argue. We didn't buy 250 a would we get normal. Not, not disadvantage, but not advantage. Yes. How far do you have to be for sending? 250 feet. Oh no, sending? <laughs> Infinite. Well, then message is 250 feet. Be where feet. you can be within sending or message, and then if anything happened and you couldn't see it, yeah. you could always just every now and again send something down. Like, you both have sending. Yeah, I guess I can just go to the ground if you want. Yeah. I'll take Alice I will. I will set well, up. No, you don't have both of them be down there. Scare us down there and not perfect. actually getting injured. Wherever, Shouldn't. Wherever here. If anything bad happened, or y'all could just, like, randomly, if y'all see, like, <laughs> think something's happening, y'all could just be like, hey, is everything good? Wherever. And if y'all ever get randomly get back, fuck no! And then you know, oh shit, we should do something. Wherever Kieran's gonna end up. I am 220 feet above the ground, off to the side. Alright. The reason I'm saying that is because if with the mention door, I can jump to anywhere in that battlefield. <laughs> Fair enough, I guess. And then you can use message. Mm -hmm. Yep. Alright. That is where the ship is parked. It is broadside towards the conflict. Alrighty. All cannons are loaded. All ballistae are loaded. All trebuchets are loaded. Everything is locked and loaded. Apparently. And the skeletons nope. know how do it. Yep, and at this point, the crew's about 50-50. It's 50 undead, 50 warforged. And they all know how to do it, and there's warforged that are made specifically just to repair this ship if it takes any damage. I absolutely love that. This is fantastic. <laughs> Technically, if you want to get technical, some could say it's just completely undead, man man manned by the undead. Uh, true, but... But you'll at least have souls, so. <laughs> but that's where we sit. Eula is Scares going. on the battle. Eula is going to specifically battle. Action to, at a moment's notice, if needed, to dimension door and open a bag. I am keeping situation, Cairo, mint, all in the bag of construct upkeep and repair. I am going to go inside and explain the situation to what's in there to have them all have their actions ready at a moment so this to charge out and fight anything that is not a war forge. Okay, so... Our allies. You're going to have to run that by me again, Chief. So you have, like, all of your pets in one bag and you have mm -hmm. them ready in your action to charge. To fight. If, if the bag gets opened up, to exit and just be ready for a fight instantly. All the pets and all the warforged that are in the bag. Okay. 
And then I'm coming out and I'm writing my action to Dimension Door and open. And you're on the field. You're... I, I don't really want to... I don't know if I want to be on the boat. Then don't be on the boat. Because my thing is that, like, my whole part of this plan is holding Kieran in place with the whole monster. <laughs> so, yeah, but we're not... We don't know where he is. We yeah, don't even know if he'll show up. Him to, we're hoping he doesn't show up. We actually were hoping he did show up because we had plenty of capture. Yeah. Well, I mean, what I'm, saying, what I'm saying that is that it only has a range of 90 feet. Which, in all honesty, then you need to be right next to Eula because Eula can take one other person with her when she didn't mention the doors. Yeah. Okay. Right. You don't need to be on the ground because then you're just... You're not a part of the fight and if you're on the ground, you're just singled out. Just cast tensor strength and and vision, like, the I'm, biggest thing is I the can. ship is invisible. Yeah. So you can see below the ship. <laughs> I think. That's going to be the DM's discretion. Can you look? Yeah, okay. you're on the ship. <laughs> okay, when you're on the ship, you can't see below it. But from the ground, and anyone who's not on the ship, nothing is there in the sky. And it cannot be divine. Anything that's on the ship cannot be used. Can't, there's no divination to find a ship or anything on the ship. That's why I've been using it as a fortification. Kieran cannot see the ship through magic or through normal means. The ship is not like transparent see-through anymore. Basically think of it like when you're on the ground, it's like a mirror now. Like it reflects what you're seeing and like what you should be seeing. It's not transparent see-through. From the ground it's transparent see-through. From the ship itself you see it as if it's normal. On the ship, you see it. Once you're part of the ship, Part of the ship, part of the crew. <laughs> okay, then so I, my ass is next to her, and the right. second he pops up... Well, see, here's the thing. I want to, like, open with full monster, but I get the feeling he'll counterspell that. It That's would, why look, you have Eula. We're not here to talk about that part right now. But we'll figure that out. That's wherever I'm setting and up. Kai? I'm holding the boat, I guess. Okay. Alright. I only need to get care of there. Uh, we could have Alistair out. If you want, I could put them all in the bag with the situation in Cairo, so that they can all pop out at once. And deliver. Eula's whole plan is to deliver a pocket army. Yeah, but Alistair can fly pretty fast, so like, yeah. he would be my mouth on Egan down there, because you don't have to worry about carrying all of them. Yeah, unless you wanted to be in the bag as well, and I just pop you out whenever I pop something else out. Of course. Aramis could be in the bag and he pops out whenever I pop something else out. For vision purposes, probably best because I'm not in the bag. Yeah, we'll figure out that set of these later, but I feel like that's where we're going to end tonight's session, correct? No, I wanted to start. Oh, oh. All right, so what are we wanting to do? Aramis, are you wanting to be in the bag and we pop you out whenever we get down? Or are you wanting to be out of the bag? And we'll oh, if I'm in the bag, then that'll let you warp in um, Kai, too. Yep. So you want to do that? Yep, that'll get us. All right. Aramis is in the bag of Contract up, keeping repair. Eula and Kai are on the ship keeping look. Watch out. Eula is ready to Dimension Door at a moment's notice and open the... Well, not open the bag. We'll open the bag, but, like, get everything out of the bag. Okay, so Eula's on the ship. Mm -hmm. Aramis is on the ship. Kai is on the ship. Aramis is in the bag. Okay, so Aramis is in the bag. On the ship. On the ship. On the ship. All right, got it. I just want to make that clear. Kai is on Alistair? Kai is next to Eula on Alistair. Eula is going Sarah to Dimension Door on Kai down. The Eula will Dimension Door Kai down. Eula and Kai down. All right. And we're waiting. All right. Everything's loaded. Bated breath. For the moment. Hey, Scara, I do kind of need you for this part. So, well, I at least needed an answer to the question. Can I, oh, oh, sure, Jacob, yes. What is your reaction to the battle To the battle what? Moving. The battle moving? Yeah. Like, it doesn't really necessarily seem unnatural to you in the moment. It just seems like the battle is shifting to not necessarily be where y'all had to put it. So it kind of moves down? Consider it like moving over towards like this direction. Like it's the entire 
entire time y'all are sitting there doing this fake fight, it feels like it's just me. Does it feel like it's we're being like? No, it doesn't really feel unnatural. It just feels like it's just kind of being pulled. Yeah. Like it's just kind of like it's being. Everyone's back. taking steps, and sometimes it's like being. Say so this it happens over the course of like. It feels hour. like a natural movement. Like it just feels like a natural pushback. Then it's a natural pushback. Alright. I wouldn't have felt, in the middle of trying to like keep that going, I wouldn't have really, I probably would have noticed that it was moving, but would have been like, it's just push and shove. Especially if it was kind of like, it went this way. Oh no, it pushed back this way. Oh no, it kind of like, especially if it felt like it was kind of zigzagging to there a little bit, so it felt like a natural, natural like push back on both sides until it landed there, I wouldn't have questioned it. So this is actual combat right now that's doing this? Yes. Oh, okay. Would you have shifted the ship this time? Oh, no, I'm using... The ship is following the combat. I, so that's all I need to know. Yeah. Well, I would have also noticed if we're getting... That's forest, correct? Yeah. If we're getting close to the forest, I'm going to message Scarab. Alright. You guys would be closing in towards the edge of this. We need to move away from the forest. I'm about to start sending things out to everyone else. And I'm about to just start Because the way I'm going to say it is y'all are probably here. Probably would put yeah. you at about I would have done 300-ish it bef- feet. I would have done it before we got that close to the forest. I would have started messaging them that we needed to move it back towards the center of the plants. I'm going to need you to roll an intelligence check. To see if you would have known this is happening. Well, I can... I, well, I will say, I did. I I was waiting for you to do like I thought you were about to do a description of how the armies march towards each other and fight. I didn't realize we were just jumping into it. We'll get there. Don't worry. You said intelligence. Yes. Twenty-two. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. And after I ping scare, I would have just started pinging Warforge on either side. Which I'm assuming there's just Warforge laying in the ground on the way up, over there. I need to make an insect check. <sighs> She's been waiting all night for us to do this dumb thing. I would also, because I have that, uh... You would have advantage on it, because you have been noticing how I've been moving. Yeah. To also, because I do have the, uh, lovely ping the moment, and I'm also injured. And one of the other people that are currently in this fake battle is Elaine, I'd be like... Yeah, we're introducing trees. This is not where we had planned to be. We'll keep your thoughts on in check. We'll say. Can you see the inside, right? Yes. Twenty-three. You can jump in and do something too. It's a bit odd that y'all managed to move so much, but not really. It's just the dance battle. You know that your whole life. I guess it's just kind of been like they were moving to the forest, which is too like honestly, it's a little bit like yeah, it's not ideal for you guys to have this, but as long as you guys. Keep in mind yeah. how close to, you are. to the mental connect. It's not like a panic thing. But through my mental thing to her, it's like not like need to keep yeah. It's watch. like we should. Yeah, it's like we're moving more to the forest. It's not where we plan to have the battle. We like probably watch how close we get to that forest, and that's it. Did you hear? No, not to Eula. Oh, to that's Elaine. to that's to Elaine. Okay. You can't respond to Eula's message, by the way. Eula would hear any person. If yeah. you wanted to respond. That's too late, because she's casually one of the general on our side. Mm-hmm. And we're currently both injured, because we definitely both just kind of cheeked at each other and was like, hey. but And injured each other, so I'm just kind of like... to you look? Your eyes in the sky at the moment? Yeah, I'm just kind of like, I noticed. And Eula just starts pinging other war force. Start moving away from the front. Try to move it away from the forest. Move it away from the forest. They're a bit slow to take the uh, hold of that. No, I know they were. So I'm just pinging, just constantly. Yep. They're still 
I just cannot, we cannot afford to get into the forest because you will lose this line of sight then. You are getting into the forest. You are still about anywhere between 120 ish to 300 ish feet from it at any given point. But Something's going to come from the forest. It's mm-hmm. not necessarily. Like, y'all are managing to keep out of the forest, but y'all are definitely closer than y'all originally designed. Y'all are still fighting. It's been about an hour and a half-ish of this. Y'all haven't had any signs of anyone interrupting. Um. Where? Stay sitting around that area. Question. Yes. So you now I got a Now, now that it hasn't moved again, Scare would probably be like, "Why are we?" Okay. Question. Mm-hmm. To Tony and Aya, where did, where are they placed throughout all this? Are they back they at the camps? They are not close. Where did, where did they say that we were going with them? They all never did. Mm-hmm. They were still at the mirror of bushes with the rest of the forces on either side. Mm-hmm. Alright. After we get to this point and it's this deep in it and nothing's happening, I'm assuming the fighting size has dwindled I specifically. Them up already. The what? The fighting force has dwindled significantly at this point and there's just like from where we started to over here, there's just lines of corpses laying on the ground. Corpses. Alright. I'm going to cast Sending. Alright. To Aya. Mm-hmm. Alright. Battle's moving. Haven't seen anything. Do you have anything on your end? Let me know there's a if towel anything on the pops up at all. Keep you updated. Darling. You received no response. Honestly? Do an arcana check. You're an asshole, I hate you. What? I'm not an asshole. I don't know it. I don't I know was, shit. Arcana? I was, 16. I was rolling something before Eula did anything. Of a roll, can I can I tell you what my roll was? Well, what are you rolling for? Well, it was an intelligence check to tell you why I was intelligence checking it. Okay. I rolled a thirty. All right. For what? Well, is that going to be a good roll to tell you what I am about to say would probably be a pretty good and good and and they know what you're rolling for, honey. Okay. It's because I'm about to go. Fuck, Elaine, run! And we're gonna just turn and get the, all the troops to just run back to the camp. And I'm gonna turn and look at Elaine and be like, he pulled us away from the camp. Did he? When did he pull you closer to the forest? <laughs> Both! Are we gonna have plant things? Do we get to fight plant things? That's a tree ant. It's a tree ant. Yeah, but it's a magical thing. I've been mm-hmm. waiting to use fucking blight forever because we never actually fought those. He told us to Oberon. Aha, nice. That worked. Eula is now, you're worried about that as well? Eula's like, Eula Eula, knows something's up. Eula sees something happen before you can make this a series of thoughts. What is it? Some trees grow. Funny enough, some trees grow from about here and kind of make a little bit of a enclosed meadow, we'll say. Mm Mm-hmm. Very large trees. We get circled by tree ants. Yeah. Popping up almost instantaneously. <clears throat> Alright. You've received no thing, by the by. Hmm. Well, you've received no pain. Yeah. It's because it's over on. Over on the bitches. Not here. This is terribly boring. As this is happening... I'm not oh, finished. Okay. You have no right continue. to speak. Continue? I'm sorry. Then remain that way. You were so rude at interrupting all the time. I know. 
Stop it. I don't want to deal with it. I didn't ask. Your little show is incredibly boring. And it lacks real depth. Come oh, now. It's time for the real hunt. Which one of us gets to hear this dude? Just the one on the ground? No. You didn't check and see. The one who keeps sending to all these different forge. If you keep pinging, you're going to hear bits of that message. Oh. Okay. So, do you share? Oberon's here. And then message, like I say that out loud, while I'm also using it as a message, because technically it's a whispered thing, but I'm just going to say it out loud to scare us so Kai also hears me. Oberon's here. <laughs> Did I No shit, Sherlock! Huh? <laughs> oh, hello, Aramis! Um, You're so cute! I also so, what yeah. it is said is, it isn't just yeah. Oberon's here. It's Oberon's here, and Aya's not responding to me. Mm. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they pulled us away. One, to trap us here. Two, to go after the camp. You didn't want to keep the fight close to the camp for safety. Haven't you guys ever heard you're supposed to keep your friends close? You wanted to put it in the middle. Yeah, but keep your enemies closer, right? Closer to this side. Kai, we've got to check two places now. I can drop, I can kick you out here, and you can help scare up, but we've got to check those camps. Mm -hmm. Both look like. I can do it fast, but I've got to go now. Okay. We're well, not getting that far into this. Alright. Pity, really? He pulls out a horn. Bellowing call of a hunting horn. You don't have a sound effect there, shit? Uh, do you want one? No. I can give you one. <laughs> I just thought you would have Get one. Get a prepared. little closer, Kai. Come on. No. Then you'll get your sound effects when you dare to get close enough to hear it. I was hungry first. Leave off tonight. Oh! <laughs> Next week's not gonna be fun. No, and actually, it's gonna—it is gonna be fun, but it's, it's gonna, gonna be, be so fun. I knew. Bye. Bye.